Today's podcast is being recorded on October 14th at 6.55 p.m. Welcome back to episode 22. My name is Max. I'll be your host for tonight. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and welcome to the bench. What it do, you guys? My name is Max yet again. Uh, This is going to be my third time trying to record this because I forgot to press record. That's my Checking job. My That's my uh, fail. Sorry, you guys. But today I'm joined by your boy Jason. What's up, yo? We got hey. Jason. Got like, Martin right here. Got Martin with an AirPod in, reprising his role. Yeah, Camilo right here. What's yeah. up, guys? We got Camilo reprising his role of Camilo. Thank you guys so much for coming out. You guys watching, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe. Please consider it. It helps a lot. I noticed you guys have been liking the clip so far. Um, Gain like 10 subscribers over the last week. I didn't tell you guys that either. Uh, okay. So we're growing, we're growing. We're low 60, low. 69 subscribers, which is nice. Baby steps. Giggity. But uh, we'll get there. Uh, if you guys are waiting for the clips, I always drop the game uh, from the podcast the day after. So if you guys are waiting every day to watch the game that we're going to play, I always drop it the day after in the clips with the music under. So it's a little more entertaining. But uh, I guess uh we'll just go with the game first because there's no basically no news i guess there's a little bit of news i'll tell you the news uh we got a report from cbs sports that the nba is targeting january 18th for the beginning of next season but all teams will be told eight weeks in advance for the beginning of the season so it's not going to get dropped out of nowhere but january 18th is right around the corner still it's crazy that this off season is going to happen in within a month two months what would be the eight weeks That's crazy. I mean, like November weeks. something. Yeah, right. November 18th. Yeah. And then we're in October 14th. So a month from now. In a month. So in a month from now, we'll find out if the, if the I guess the date is started. solid. Yeah. yeah. It's a solid date, January 18th. But that's pretty exciting. Like I said, it's going to be like three months of off season. Two months of off season, basically. Uh, I wonder if they're going to have preseason. I don't, pre-season? They, I don't think they're going to have preseason. Why not? Why not? They should. I don't, I don't think so. And I mean, do you think this means that the schedule stays like that? As in the stars at the, at that time of the year? No, I think they're gonna keep having like two month off seasons until we're back into yeah. October. That sucks for the players. Yeah, because a lot of injuries are gonna happen because of the just gotta take care of your body better. The amount of I uh, mean, I hope they sc- time. I hope they make the schedule more like less back to backs. Then they'll do something or about like it. I, I'm Adam Silver knows what he's doing. I have another question. What about All Star Weekend? Silver, we trust. What about All Star Weekend? What about it? Like. Are they gonna host? It was All-Star? in Atlanta, no. Uh, I don't remember. I know Salt Lake City is next year. I mean, like 2022. Yeah, I think so. I remember. I remember there was like something that came out. I talked about it on the podcast that they canceled the the hotel <laughs> for All Star Weekend. So they're probably looking at postponing it another year. I have a wait. So Indiana. are there? Is it gonna be the NBA bubble, or they're gonna be playing in their? Next. We don't know. We don't know anything about next season. I'm guessing it's going to be f- six bubbles. That's my best guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, It'll who probably knows? be like that. Just six different cities and they travel within those cities. Because I just saw before, on the way over here, I saw the Charlotte Hornets. They uh, they came out with new uniforms. They have new uniforms for next season. And they also redid the floor for next season. So I was wondering. like, are they Really? Gonna, yeah, they did. So I'm just wondering. I'm like, all right, are they going to play? I can see. Arena? I can see them doing what the NFL is doing, just traveling to the to each arena, but nah, that's so with no fans. Yeah. Well, even oh, the football f- the football teams have fans, like the Dolphins. Some, some, yeah. The Dolphins were cleared for full capacity, but they're only doing fifty. Uh, no one but it was crazy that they, that they got cleared for full capacity. Yeah, that's that is crazy. Wow. So it's like if people wanted to, like, they were desperate enough to like go. Everyone sell out a Dolphins game. They could have. They could. That's crazy. And I feel like <laughs> in Florida they could have. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know. But next season, it'll all unfold. We'll see as it comes. But like you said, the Hornets come with the New Jerseys. I didn't see that. I saw. I have the Brooklyn Nets New Jerseys up here. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're so classic clean. edition. They look like the New Jersey Nets or the Swamp Dragon Nets. Those are the Petrovich jerseys. Yeah, mm-hmm. anybody? Nice. Swamp Dragon Nets. Sw- swamp Dragon Nets. Oh no, the New Jersey Swamp Dragons. What is that? Like, what? That was like uh, ABA, you know. No, that was like a, they they had like a like a like a like a, like a oh, I, know. I think it was like a poll in a newspaper to name the Nets, and like one of the the ones that almost won was the Swamp Dragons. Swamp so it's not a story like that. 
They're mm-hmm. almost the New Jersey Swamp Dragons. <laughs> oh, their name, their actual yeah, name, I team think, name. I'm pretty sure. Oh, anyway, yeah. New Jerseys are kind of sick. Choice. I don't know if I like it on the players. No, uh, those, those are those uniforms are from the '90s. Like yeah, Petrovic. Petrovic. Petrovic and Kenny Anderson and Kendall mm-hmm. Gill. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about them yet. So, yeah. They're kind of uh, weird. They already, I mean, they already showed a picture of Kyrie wearing them. They look pretty nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they had like a whole release video. I'm pretty sure I would link it down below. Um, it looks kind of weird. I'm, I don't know, like going from black to bright blue. Yeah, kinda, those, I mean, I really like the the biggie ones from last. Oh, season. I mean, yeah, but those, those are, are the yeah, classic those are sick. ones. Yeah, those, those are, are sick. awesome. Yeah, so good. Yeah, those are sick. Uh, do you have it in the notes? Are you gonna talk about uh, Dan Tony's report? No, which one? Uh, oh, like that he might I, coach under yeah, Steve Nash. I saw that. Yeah, I'm broke. Oh, really? They, That's they, crazy. There's a report. I told I y'all. Ha- I didn't tell y'all. I didn't yeah, have yeah. any of the coaching stuff on reports because I'm just gonna. I'm sick of all the rumors. Yeah, it's a, a uh, executive from the e- from Eastern Conference. Oh, that's always like yeah. A, I'm sick of all the rumors. This coach, my coach here. This coach, my coach here. Executive. This person interviewed there. This person interviewed over here. I'm sick of it. So I'm just gonna wait till they get announced and then just stay yep. them. Yep. Uh, because we don't yeah, spread everyone, fake news here in the bench. Yeah, no everyone's everywhere. Right now. <laughs> it's pretty. It's it's kind of annoying. All these reports. So I don't even want to mm-hmm. talk about them honestly. Okay. But yeah, yeah that's, that's ridiculous. I, I, if Mike D'Antonio agrees to that, that's ridiculous. They'd have to pay him the same so? amount as Steve Why Nash. Why is that ridiculous? No, no, but he wouldn't be head coach. You know what would be crazy? That's what I'm saying. They'd have to pay him the same amount as Steve Nash. Why? Why? Because he's a head coach. Who cares? What do you mean, who cares? Who cares? You know, I was thinking, I was thinking that <laughs> what if eventually they have <laughs> offensive and defensive coordinators like, like in football? For basketball? Yeah. That would be really weird. Really? That makes sense. Bro, these are, there's coaches that get fired and they're commentators and they don't make as much money as them being head coaches. That's a, yeah, you do got a point. Right, but go ahead, coach and somewhere they, and they else. Go right back to being coaches, they get hired. Just like Van Gundy's going to get hired this season. Well, Stan Van Gundy's been out of the job for like decades. No, Jeff, Jeff is getting the job this time. Oh, yeah. Stan Van Gundy <laughs> interviewed for the Clippers position, I'm pretty sure. I think it was Jeff. No, it was Stan. Are you sure? I saw Stan Van Gundy. No, yeah. Stan, Stan nah. been, yeah. he recently coached for the, for the Pistons. Not too long yeah, ago. Yeah, Stan is still in, in, you're still, in you're, Detroit. You got mixed up with Jeff. Yeah. Uh, Jeff, Jeff is the broadcaster. Yeah, Jeff's yeah, the, the ball Jeff is the broadcaster. Oh, okay. that's good. Yeah, you got mixed up. It's all good. I mean, I saw a report Steph interviewed, though. Oh, okay. Or Stan, not Steph. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the Van Gundy tribe. Yeah. Uh, That's pretty much it. <laughs> that's it for the news. That's all I got for y'all. Uh, So I guess we just head straight into the game. You want to grab the boards over there? What are we playing today, Max? Today, I got trivia questions for you guys. If you know, Ooh. you know it. If you don't, you don't. Pass the markers. Oh, my fault. So, I have no multiple choice for you guys. Oh, let me get that. Matching. Let me get the <laughs> no multiple choice for you guys. I'm just going to ask you a question and hope you guys know the, the answer. The blank, okay? easy, okay. And the thing is, there's like no in between. It's either easy questions or super hard questions. All right, go for it. Are we all writing it or is like whoever gets it first shows you? Uh, I'm going to give you guys, I'm going to do one by one. Let, let's do it through the wire style. So through the wire podcast, I watch it. I like a lot. Uh, the way it works that Jason would get the question. He gets it wrong. The next person can steal. If you get it wrong, then that's it. The question's gone. And then I ask you your question. <laughs> I get so it. I get it. So the person, to, the next person gets the chance for steal, and they get around the question is wrong, and then you get your question. Okay. Okay. Cool. So let's go, Jason first. All right. I'm gonna ask you. <laughs> Give us an easy one. <laughs> what was the first team to play in Toronto? What was the name? You got any idea? Yeah, I'm writing it. You know it? Yeah, I know. All right, what is it, Jay? The Toronto Huskies. That is correct. Keep track of your points, please. So now I get a new question, right? Now you get a new question, okay. yeah. Everyone gets a question. I, think I forgot that one. <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm. What was the last team Shaquille O'Neal played for? Oh. oh. You want to talk into the mic? Uh, there's not no, there's not much to talk about. What? Uh, I already know the answer, uh, boy. boy. Uh, I already what? know the answer, man. Me too. All right, all right. Boston. Flip the board. Boston Celtics is correct. Yeah. All I'm surprised right, you put Phoenix. Nah, cause nah, he went to. Oh yeah, was it Phoenix the second to last? Nah, it was Cleveland. Yeah, Cleveland then Celtics. 
What is Ray Allen's real first name? <laughs> that is so funny. Why are you pushing to the corner and Marn's like in the middle? But it looks proportionate. Nah, it doesn't. You're on the jersey and he's not. Jesus Shuttleworth. Nah, I'm joking. That's not your real question. I just want to see if you would actually answer it. And I, I know it. You know it? Yeah. I'll let you steal it. No, it's Walter. <gasps> <laughs> you put William. That's a good answer. Uh, nah, 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 give, I'll give Sato a new answer. <laughs> a new okay. question. No. I was close. It started with a W, though, so I, I was close. Hours. Go for it. Uh, let's see. Uh, damn. Come on. All these questions are either too hard or too easy, honestly. Give him a hard one. I did give him easy ones. No, Shaq was hard. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, Shaq played for like eight teams, low key. Boy, played for the whole rainbow. Okay. <laughs> the movie He Got Game stars Denzel Washington and this longtime NBA player. Boy, if you get this wrong. Yeah. Who is it? Ray Allen. It's Ray Allen. I was about to say, you know the movie was kind of based on Stephon Marbury? Yeah. No, I didn't know that. You don't know that. I wanted you to not get it right, even after you just said Jesus Shuttleworth, because <laughs> that's his name in the movie. Yeah. He says Kobe. Kobe was supposed to be in the movie, but he turned it down. All right. <laughs> so we all have one point, guys. All you guys have one point. Congrats. Yes, sir. I'm going to win, though. So. No, I do. <laughs> Uh, Max, Max I'll let you in how we usually do it and let's just go one by one. What? So we could all get a chance of get, getting points. Yeah, whatever. That's all answer, I guess. Okay. You guys can all answer then. But one at a time. So we're not ch- cheating. You're a cheater. Just write it down. I saw that I saw that oh, episode that you try to cheat the Nah man, do it one by one, man. Yeah, I saw yeah, that one by one. I saw that episode yeah. where like, not, like he pulled out we, the phone. We, each get a question. we could all answer the same question, but that's one by not one. what he meant. One. No, I'm talking about the original form. I'm talking about the original format, right, whatever, Soto. Bro. Okay. Soto's trying to cheat. Yeah. You know that episode where he pulled out his phone? Yo, the, the man crazy. pulled out his whole entire phone. <laughs> <laughs> like, Jesus. Like, that's not cheating. I just have the roster here. <laughs> Damn, all these questions are too hard and too easy. Yo, this man told you he he was under 6'5 and was an MVP. Oh, yeah, I got it wrong. It's all good. <laughs> it's cool. You know, players mess up sometimes, you know. Wait, what? I told him he told you that this man was six five and an MVP. You talking about the the question when you was asking about Russell Westbrook? Like guess who? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what he was talking about. That's cool, man. Damn, these questions suck. <laughs> All right. Jason's like, I'll get you this. Which time. NBA player is known for having four fingers? Oh, I know it. Uh, I know which football player. That's not it's not the question. Oh, I remember. Can you like? Oh. Yeah, for real. What? You? How are you gonna show? You're gonna oh, show bad. me before he wrote down his answer. Oh. I actually didn't see it before. All right. I got it. You said do it first, right? No, oh, we're, we're, all, all, we're one. all gonna get a chance to answer. All right, whatever. Well, you guys all got a point. Damn. You, nah, he's so, nah, he's so my answer. Play. <laughs> Let's do uh. The famous 2004 Piss and Pacers brawl was quickly coined as the. Uh, that's that's easy. The mouths of the palace. Oh yeah, I was okay. gonna I was gonna say that. So uh, well, you just gotta keep answering answer. everything out loud, Jason. Oh my bad. Hey. I was writing it down. Look, it says malice. That's, hey man. Hey, t- take out take out some points. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking the rules. Give him a tech. You gave me a tech last right, time. Three, that's Who's the only player to record two separate quadruple doubles? Oh, what happened? Oh. What'd you say? Uh, Who's the only player to ever or write to uh, ever record hey, two separate quadruple doubles? It's. No answer. Give me somebody a pen or yeah, expo. Yeah, yeah. Give him yours. Since I know the answer, can I just go for it? No. Actually, yeah, because they haven't written it down. I'm ready. Do you think you do you have any idea, Jay? I have no idea. Dang. I'm between two people. 
Well, not really. I think it's this. You say he's the only sure. player? To record two, yeah. You want to sure see? he's the only player to record two? Yeah. That's what I this think is. I have two people in my head. But this test Me says. Too. Yeah. I'm going to choose one, but there's another yeah, one. Yeah, that yeah. Might say be. which one you're choosing. Yeah, I'm choosing no. for sure. That, that's probably right. your answer. Go ahead and flip, y'all. Flip? Yep. Will Chamberlain, uh, Hakeem, and Hakeem. It's Hakeem. All right, so David the second the, no, the second person huh? would be, actually might be Derek Robinson too, but uh, Andre Kudelenko, AK forty seven. I don't know. He did quadruple. Oh uh, yeah, I think he From got the Jazz. <clears throat> yeah, he was. He was. I wrong. think Tim. Yeah, Dun- he was good. No, who'd you say? No, you said Tim Duncan or David Robinson. Yeah, no, David no, no, Robinson. My, my answer is Hakeem. I think David, David Robinson never got credited for a rebound or something oh, like that. Oh yeah, got like taken away. Yeah, I think. something like that. I know he yeah. had like I know he's like top five scoring like a single. Amount of points in a single game. All right, game Jason, before. you've lost. I'm sorry. Yeah. You're out. Jason, how many? Now it's going to be between Martin and... Wait, Sutton. hold up. How? Because this is taking too long and I'm running out of questions. I have three points, Max. And we have four. We got four. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I guess I'm out then. Uh, who owns the Bobcats? Yeah, Great. Right. Currently, or who's the founder mm-hmm. of the Bobcats? I know we both know it. So. All right, we both know it. Can we just go? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's Michael MJ, Jordan. guys. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, are you, wait, hold on. Were you asking the founder or currently? Uh, it was Michael Jordan. Oh, okay. I know <laughs> like, the founder. Right. <laughs> so I want to get back wait in the game. Wait a second. <laughs> uh, both have four. Oh, that counted? Right. Who has the most wins as, as a Laker coach? You know what? I know it. No, I'm write it down. Between two. All right, write it down. Okay, okay actually, not. Yeah. You want to say it out loud? Come on. It's tough. I guess it is tough. Three, two, All right, I, one. Um, Phil, Phil Jackson. Jackson. Phil Jackson. I was close to saying Pat. Yeah, I was going to say Pat too. Yeah. But then I remember Pat, Pat kind of left. Yeah. yeah. I knew it was Phil Jackson. Magic. I knew, I knew it was Phil oh, Jackson. Magic yeah. played a lot. First tied up at six, Max. Give us a tough one. What year did they ban drafting players from high school? Oh, I know it. <laughs> Got him. I know it. Okay. Wait. Like you're okay. So when was the the one and done you, rule implemented? Pretty much? Right. Sure. <laughs> I know it. Yeah, I can't oh. leave him out, bro. Yeah. Right. That's crazy. I know all these questions too. What if we both don't get it right, but we're close? Well, if I get this right, I can come back. <laughs> Go. Well, what is it? What's your answer? My answer is 2007. I said 08. No. no, it's 06. You get the answer. It's 06. It's 06. So, how does it So, we I guess you won, Camilo. Wait, whoa. Congratulations. Hold up. That's not the right answer, though. That's not the right answer? Yeah. How's but it? he got the point. How? He was closer. Yeah, what? <laughs> what? You <laughs> went further. I'm not, wow, I never, it just doesn't make sense. That yeah. makes sense. <laughs> if you, you, you got it right no, or wrong. If you would have put 07, you would have been like, oh, but I, got I mean, wrong. was it the 07 draft or was it the 06 they implemented the rule? That's no, why I was like, I'm going to let y'all answer. It was, the that 06, it. it was the 06 draft where they implemented when it done. It was the 06 I, was, draft. I don't know. Okay. I well, I mean, it's, I right. then they started the 07 season. You give us a bonus question. All right, whatever. Really what do you want one more question you, sure. let me get back in this game man so i can kick you out Yo, you know what next question worth three points yeah word i don't yeah. think jason would still catch up i am gonna catch up yeah he, i have seven points man i don't care come on this uh, question worth 10 points whoa i like it <laughs> who was the mvp in 1971 <laughs> 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 oh, you got me <laughs> i mean go for it i'm looking for a real question right. to be honest that wasn't a real question. Can I just answer it then? The 71? Yeah, he said 71. Can I say it? Can you say it? Yeah. You have an answer? No, wait for them. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> There's actually two people in my head. But. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you, I guess. But if I get this right, I'm lit. Why'd you whisper? Why do you still have your AirPod in? It's not on. I know, but it's just weird. Yeah, ready? Right, what's Do your I answer? answer? Yeah. Right. Uh, no, what are you doing? What are you waiting for? 
Kareem? I got Jerry West. Kareem, Jerry West, Walt. Oh, Will. I meant Will. Yeah, was it any of those three? Yeah. Will, uh, no, it's uh, Lou Alcindor. Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Oh. oh. Yeah, it was between him or Oscar. Yeah, Oscar was another option for me. Uh, big ticket. Anybody know who the big ticket is? Kareem. Kevin Kevin Garnett. Oh, Kareem Ka- Kevin Garnett. Sorry. That was what? The big ticket. Uh, oh, you're just going down the MVP list. And two thousand no. In two thousand eleven, this player set the most consecutive records for the double double, reaching fifty three times in a row. Who is it? And what year? Two thousand eleven. Most double doubles in a row at fifty three. I don't know, man. But I've been looking at my posture in those videos. And I, I hate don't it. Either. Don't show it, man. Y'all probably got it wrong, man. Let's go. What? Don't show it. Yeah, I got it wrong. I don't think that's right. Yeah, I don't think that's right. Either. Well, it's right. <laughs> <laughs> I got Kevin Love. I guess you guys between? It's Kevin Love. Yeah. Sure. All right, you know what? Forget this game. Uh, are we all? Are we submitting to Martin? I mean, you guys are not tied up. Yeah, we're not tied up. All right, forget this game. See, <laughs> I tried to end it already. Y'all we're, brought it back. We're both at seven. Damn, oh, yeah, I thought today was my night, man. Hey, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Maybe next time, Jason. Yeah, maybe next time. Maybe next time. Bro, I got some really hard questions. Yo, go for it. We're gonna have to win. Whoever gets a 10 first between me and Martin. What? 10? You're <laughs> crazy. <Seven. laughs> yeah. No. I've been trying to end this since we all were at five. I could get three in a row right now and just get it. Oh, yeah. Who was the first individual Who was the first individual award for the Heat? Who won it? Wait, well. First what individual award. Like, any award. MVP, Rookie of the Year, Most Improved Defensive Player of the Year. Or Coach of the Year. Who was the first person to win one? Damn. Yeah. Yeah, get three right now. Go ahead. <laughs> Like, dude, nah. The only player I could think of right now is like, that's two. You I said MVP, most improved defensive player of the year, and uh, and and coach of the year. Or who won the? Who's the first one to win one of those? Only player I could think of. Didn't Wade win most improved? No. Nope. He even won rookie of the year. The only player I could think of is like. Steve Smith or like Ronnie uh, Cyclist, whatever his last Yeah, name. Ron Cyclist, he got like, he was a rebounding leader one year, but, or a couple years. He was, he had the rebound, he has the most rebounds in Heat history after Hassan Yeah, and I don't think, what about Glenn Rice? Alonzo, I don't think Alonzo ever got to a defensive player. Yeah, I don't think Alonzo. No, I, I think he did. Not with the Heat though, maybe yeah. with the Hornets, the Hornets yeah. No, nah, he, he won. So y'all think it was LeBron James MVP? Mm, nah. No. No. Mm. Then what was it before that? Dwayne Wade? Dwayne Wade, what did he win? Finals MVP? No. Wait, we're only going regular season, right? Oh, you talking about like regular season? Yeah. Uh, there was a well. If that's your guess. Was no. it Pat Riley, Coach of the Year? No. So who is it? You got a guess? It was Ronnie Sicali. He won Most Improved. I said it. Yeah, but you did, you said no. It's not Ronnie. That's yeah. Nice. <laughs> Tell me those aren't fair. It's like you rode A and then you raced it. Yeah. Uh, which team had the worst regular season record of all time? Uh, uh I know it. What is it? I know what the, it is. I, what is, what do you think the, it is? Things like t- 2000 and like something 76 years like before nah, okay. the process. I got the Charlotte Bobcats. Yeah, the Charlotte Bobcats. It was the Charlotte Bobcats. Yeah, I'm like, giving the win to Martin. This is taking way too long. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 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 boys, that suck, eh? Congratulations. See, y'all, you can't win when I'm playing, though. <laughs> wow. Because you have all the answers. Yo, That's Max why. is happy that he finally got his Max first win. Last week, he, got, he pulled the win. He knows. He was watching, right? You watch the podcast. Yeah. I do. All right, you guys. What do you guys want to talk about? I'm going to bring up the Lakers of Miami Heat future yet again. We did last podcast, but I want to bring it up again a little bit more in depth. So let's first, let's talk about the Heat. They finished 44 and 29, fifth in the Eastern Conference, Indiana 4-0, Milwaukee 4-1, Boston 4-2, and then lost to the Lakers 4-2. We have the 20th overall draft pick, and our free agents are Derek Jones Jr., Solomon Hill, Jay Crowder, Goran Drogic, Myers Leonard, Mm -hmm. 
Gudi, Kelly Olenek, Gabe Vincent, and Kyle Alexander. Are Gabe Vincent and Kyle Alexander not too worried about those guys? I don't think they ever put on a jersey in the whole time they were in the bubble. <laughs> uh, UD, player coach. Again, not that big a deal, but I'd love to see him back. Yeah. yeah he'll be our Myers final spot. Myers Leonard. Do we care about Myers Leonard? Uh, he, I think Kelly O knows the, the system more. So Kelly O is also a free agent. Hey, there'll be more money. Player option. Well, clear, yeah, he has, he has a player option, but he might take it or lose it. I don't remember what it is. I actually have the full free agency list on my phone. For the but would players? you want him to take or it? For... Yeah, he has a player option. I think the only must keep is, is Goron. And, Goran and honestly, and Crowder. Not Derek Jones Jr.? Nah. Not I Kel- mean, as a, as a must keep? No. Not yeah, Kelly or, Derek Jones. Or Linux? Derek Jones Jr. Like I think Crowder and Goron are the most. I mean, yeah. mo, the mo, uh, must keeps. Must keeps. Yeah. People I mean, are saying Dragic might yeah, go to the be, Mavs. You said wait. You said what? People are saying yeah. Dragic might go to the Mavs. Reunite with. Uh, reunite Luka. with his brethren of uh, Luka Doncic. So Kelly O's player option is twelve point five million. Do we pick? Does, do you want him to pick that up? Twelve point five is bad. a lot of money. Yeah, that's great. from that. That's from that 2016. That is not too bad for how season. he fits wow. our system, though. Yeah, he's really good for a season. He's really good, like surprisingly, kind of a microwave and a playmaker. Um, I don't know for 12.5. I feel like we can find something else. It's a, it's a lot of cap. We that can be cleared up to find something else. I don't know. I don't know. It's a really weird. Giannis. It's a really weird free agency. Well, this free agency <laughs> headliners are Gordon Hayward if he doesn't pick it up. Paul Millsap, Demar Derozan. Uh, also has a player option. I would not want to get DeMar DeRozan. Otto Porter Jr. also has a player option. Drummond has a player option. Davis has a player <laughs> option, which he might decline to get more money. But it all depends on the weird cap situation. Wideside. Uh, keep he's, that bum out of Miami. <laughs> Nicholas Batum has a player option. I'm sure Ouch. he's going to pick that up. Wow. Marcus Gasol. Sergi Baca. No, no, you saw Marcus Gasol. He, he he's oh, playing for Barcelona? Spain. Yeah, he, yeah. he signed for Barcelona. Which is really cool for him. I'm sure he's... Wait, wait Mark, cool. Marcus Sol is going to be playing in... Barcelona, yeah. Next, for the Barcelona football yeah. team. They go to soccer team. Soccer team? Basketball yeah. team. Man, uh, <laughs> basketball team, yeah. Oh. He's just <laughs> soccer team, football team. That boy he's became good. a goalie. <laughs> Damn. I'm surprised you didn't say rugby next. Sergi Baca is a really, really underrated free, underrated free agent. I feel like... Ooh, I, I want to I want to bring him up, up more for the, for the Lakers later. And I feel like that's really interesting. Because he, he low-key can shoot... So a yeah, big can. five that can so bang down low and spread out the floor for Rap, AD. Yeah, like that. You have to get, get rid of JaVale. Or he's going to get, get a lot of ejections, though. Yeah, JaVale? Of course you get rid of JaVale for saying, Serge Ibaka. Of course. But, but Serge Ibaka? Nah. You'd rather what? have JaVale McGee than Serge Ibaka? JaVale McGee, he's he been playing well this season. I ain't going to lie to you. He kind of, nah, he played it. Why are you looking at me like that? He played a big part of the <laughs> Lakers winning this year. I ain't going to be honest with you. Through, before the bubble came about, like throughout the season, he was playing well. Yeah, but I think so. In the bubble, who was a bigger? Uh, so was Myers Leonard for the Heat. Who was a bigger piece, Dwight Howard or um, okay. Javel? Obviously Dwight Howard, but I mean, and I'd still say I still take Serge over Dwight Howard. Mm-hmm. Javale okay. McGee got like five points and three rebounds a game. Like, come I on, I wouldn't for the role that they're playing. Oh, no, 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 I think that's awesome. Is Serge can spread out the floor, bang down low, and take up the center position that AD hates playing, and he can run with them. Mm. I think that's huge. I don't know, man. This, yeah. this is your opinion. Gallo is another free agent that's interesting for Miami that we try to yeah, trade like, for. Why do we want uh, Gallo, bro? I don't That'd want Gallo. No, bro. Fuck that. The Leo, so the Leo uh, Gallinari? Gallo said he would sign a smaller contract yeah, with us. to try and win. And he's uh, low-key low kind of injury small? prone, too. He is. But is it 20 okay, mil small okay. or 12 mil small? I don't know. Because for 12.5 mil, I'm definitely picking him up. He's not going to accept 12.5 mil. Jeff Teague, Derek Favors, Biombo, Tim Hardaway Jr., Cam Bazemore, Evan Turner, Goran Drogic, Evan Evan Fournier, Tristan Thompson, Ian Mahini, and Bobby Portis can punch someone's eye again. (laughs) Uh, Marcus Morris, James Johnson, Brandon I, Mason Plumlee. A lot of good players on this free agency, but there's no great players. Jeremy Grant, I feel like Denver's going to want to keep him. Fred Van Fleet's going to get like paid. Grant, Tim, 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 oh, go Grant go, 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 go. might go to the LA. That'd be crazy. That, that would, would be, be really crazy. good for them. Yeah. Nah, uh, Timmy Hardaway, he's a 
He's a productive player. KCP, do you think KCP picks up his eight point two million dollar free uh, player option? Yeah, to the Lakers. Yeah, yeah, oh, I yeah. think so. Eight point two. Do you think anybody? Did he break else? the record? Did you know? What for most threes in Laker history in the playoff run? Oh no, I don't know. I think he broke it. If you go and check your notes, he was like at <laughs> he was at least ten away, and he there's the whole finals from that time. I think it was after game two. I mean, he, he definitely got it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to go check on my notes right now. <laughs> I think he picks it up. It's just you're still staying for the championship. Anyway, yeah, how, good does, the other thing. How, good does, how good does the Heat look to you guys right now? After losing Derrick Jones Jr., Solomon Hill, Jay Crowder, Goran, Myers, UD, Kelly. Hey, they're not officially gone. I mean, after losing those guys, do you think we can get the same value back on the free agency market? Mm, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Just because I trust Pat. Yeah, it's all about Pat. Like Pat's not gonna come out, like this, on a, out on a bag, trash free agency. Yeah. It's like twelve rings. He's like, especially after reaching the finals, he's not just gonna I mean, be like, "All and, right, we're gonna get worse." And twenty sixteen, he signed James Johnson, Dion Waiters, and Kelly Olynyk to those giant contracts. I mean, he kind of had to. He didn't have to because he had the money to spare. Yeah, he could. And we missed it. on Goran Hayward. And and there, no, no, that that offseason we were saving for KD. And then boom, I don't know where he goes to the Warriors. Little yeah, I remember. Bitch. <laughs> nah, that's what fucked us up. It and was, then Wade was like, No, it was KD and Gordon Hayward. We kept giving Wade the hometown discount, and then he went to Chicago. Yeah. So we just started signing people. Yeah, I mean, that whole season was crazy. I remember that. I feel yeah. like we're going to try and get Jay Crowder that. back. Be and better. that's pretty much it. And Goron, of course. So I Jay think Goran, and Goron. Goron is a must. No, uh, Derek Jones Jr.? No? Nah, I think we lost him. Yeah. I think yeah. either we're gonna pay him what he's worth, especially like to other younger teams. Yeah, knowing uh, that we have more players that fill up the role, like in the playoff role. Yeah, I'd rather have a vet in his role than because the roster gets cut down from from an eleven, twelve man roster to like seven. I'm super eight, convinced we're gonna give playoffs. Goran Dragic a twenty million dollar one year deal. He deserves it, man. I'm at a point where I'm like, yeah, and then, then we're gonna becoming a Heat. Yeah, no, for like, sure. Yeah. Definitely, and then they're gonna give him like another three mil, three year, fifteen mil contract after this the next off season. That's what I'm convinced yeah, that we're I'm gonna do. To see him in a UD light, in a sense. What about That's the, too soon. What about the 2020 oh, yeah, UD is NBA top, draft? Obviously. Like you only have one. Pick. You only have one draft pick. I yeah. mean, it's gonna be another D double J type player. I'm imagining. Yeah, it's I wouldn't be surprised another, if you guys we're gonna get another Bam, another Ken. Another Bam. Oh, we might like, pick up another guard if we lose. Can Goron? Yeah. I think we. Pick up I mean, do do you think do you think if we lose Goron, they're gonna rely a lot on Kendrick, like on none, or you think yeah. they'll try to get try to f- like fill up that role and sign someone? And we can pick up Kendrick. Hey, you we get, trust none? We get to pick up Kendrick Nunn for an unguaranteed, a non guaranteed. Uh, yeah, it's rookie year. year yeah. Like, yeah, I was about to say team that. option. We get to really pick him up on super cheap. So of course, I think they're gonna give him the chance. And Duncan but, too, right? Yeah, and Duncan. And of course, Tyler's on his rookie contract. And bam. And then there's, we have KZ. Watch bam out. Bam is on his rookie contract too. Everyone's right? super high on KZ, and I don't know why. But apparently, he's super defensively minded. I don't know. Yeah. But, uh, what? Uh, isn't Bam on his rookie contract as well? Yeah. Bam, we have to extend. By like this year or next year. Well, we can give him year. his rookie extension this year, or we have to give him the, the uh, like off of bird rights and off of. Uh, unre- uh, sorry, restricted deal next year. So we get to wait, but it looks bad. You know, we can offer the extension now. He takes it, and then he never hits free agency, or he gets to hit free agency and sign another contract max to the Hornets. And now we have to sign that contract too, where we could have had it for twenty-seven mil. But we have to wait because we don't know. You know, yeah, we don't know what the cap situation looks like right now. Hmm. It's the scariest thing. Interesting. But uh, did he make it back? Are they do over and under forty four twenty nine? Over. over, 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 over. Nah, under forty four wins. You're saying they're gonna be lower than a fifth seed? I fuck. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's like uh, it's like up in the air, but it's like I'm like fifty percent saying over, and I'm like fifty percent saying. Now, under. if you're talking about two years from now. You know, first hopefully, season in the Eastern Conference. Hopefully me, really over, but... 74 and 8. You said what? Wait, wait, repeat that? He said 74 and 8. Yeah, for me, I feel like 
Honestly, you guys might kill me. I feel like you guys reach your yeah, peak with this year going to the finals. I mean, between me. Jimmy and Bam, yeah. Yeah. It's a good peak. But yeah, I don't expect us to stay just Jimmy and Bam for 10 years. I'm see- <clears throat> I'm st- like, I don't know. We're definitely getting someone. Some, whether whether it's Damar, De- whether it's Giannis, Embiid, Oladipo, like someone's coming. Uh, I don't think we're just peeking at Jimmy and, and Bam. I think There's we're going to no go way. for the claw. Kawhi Leonard? Yeah. I think if the Clippers don't figure it out next season, which honestly I don't have much hope for them after after the way they blew it this after the way they blew it this season, I have no hope for them either, man. But all right, that would be crazy. Leaves the Clippers. You remember the 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 two years ago where I thought that he got traded to Miami? Bro, me and Martin are in Orlando, getting ready to go to the parks (laughs) for an Airbnb. In Orlando, yeah. And ESPN, it's it's the off season, and the Heat are like super hot in free agency or whatever. Or no, it might have been during the season. I don't know. We get an email, sorry, not an email. We get a notification from ESPN. Like it's one of those banner, like it comes down from the top, mm. the top of the phone. Mm. And it just says Miami Heat trade uh, Justice Winslow, Josh Richardson, and Goran Dragic for Kawhi Leonard. And we, right? Mm-hmm. And Martin goes, Martin looks at me, he's like, look at your phone. And I saw it, and we both just fell to the ground. Like, like we could almost, it. we're like, oh my, almost in God. tears, dog. Like, we're like, yeah, it was crazy. Bro, we just gave up so much, but. We have Kawhi Leonard. And then and what we happened? were like in yeah, awe. We couldn't believe it, bro. We were like, we were like crazy, like <laughs> rolling, bro. We're like, oh my, screaming. And the other three people we were staying with don't care about NBA at all. So it was just me and Martin like, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> like, like teenage girls. And then yeah, we look at the yeah. notification. You know how when you pull it down, it gives you like three more words. So it's, it goes, just as wins the Ro- Josh Richardson, Goran Dragic, and a first round pick for Kawhi Leonard. And more crazy blockbuster trades that could happen in the 2020 <laughs> season. And yeah, me and Marge just look at each other and we look, we feel so deflated, stupid, deflated, defeated. It was just like, damn, bro, I don't even want to go to the parks no more. Like, damn. Bro. Yeah, bro. We was like crazy. <laughs> we, we were like, what just happened to that was, us? Uh, that was when. Um, he was in San Antonio. Yeah, it was when he was in the Spurs and he, he was, what year was, he was like, not playing. Oh, uh, San Antonio when he got uh, Yeah, that's traded. right. Like before he got traded to, to oh. Toronto. Oh. So, so I was like, like so me and Marvel were like, dang. Oh my God, we got Kawhi Leonard. And that was like, that's like Martin's favorite player, right? Him and, and Harden. Oh, you, oh, Kawhi Leonard's your favorite player? Like LeBron is my all time. Oh. But like, I thought you wasn't a fan of Kawhi Leonard. I love Kawhi. Oh, I like Kawhi, I like Kawhi Leonard. Like too. his defense to me is. Boy, lock. Yeah, that's yeah. still like to me, he's such a crazy defender. Like, yeah, he is a great defender. Are you a fan of Paul George? Yeah, it's hard. It's hard for me to dislike a player. Like now, Paul I, George is still good. He just didn't. He didn't play good this playoff. He's not game. right mentally. Yeah, he. Yeah, he wasn't right mentally. Yeah, but I but think I'm he could. Gonna, I think he could pick it up. My bad, you go. Yeah, like I'm not gonna sit here and say PG is like washed. He's done. Like he, I'm sure he's still gonna come on next season and average his numbers. If he were to go to the Nets, <laughs> that'd be crazy. What? Why? That'd be hey. crazy. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Why? That- oh, no. You saw Joe Harris from the Nets, maybe to Miami? That'd, That'd be a good cool. pickup. I see Joe Harris in the Lakers. That boy would be another Wayne yeah, Ellington. Another, anywhere the, or but Milwaukee. Speaking, or- speaking of the Lakers, they're losing Dion Waiters, Markeith Morris, Jared Dudley, Dwight Howard, Jared Smith. AD is on a player option. KCP is on a player option. Rondo, Avery Bradley, who didn't go to the bubble. Javel, it, right, they didn't there's have no way Ryan. Davis leaves, right? Now he wants to win. There's no way he leaves. Of course not. I mean, he I might definitely. Not, he might. Not. He might not pick up the player option. Like for a bigger. Take every sign, yeah. yeah. Man, AD's coming back to LA. Javel, Javel McGee also has a player option, and then Kosas Antetokounmpo, the champion Antetokounmpo. Did you see the it's crazy Javel on his, Bradley, his Instagram bro. live? He was like, it's "Yeah, like we need everybody play. talking about the Greek." No, he wasn't feet, injured. Well, he just no, he his brother good. won in first. We're having two different conversations yeah. at the same time. He got injured. When did Bradley get injured? Avery. Bra- Avery Bradley. He, but he was good for the bubble. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He just decided not to play. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was a he decided, not to, he decided yeah, not to come. Oh yeah, to go. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. That, what? It'd be crazy <laughs> that he, well he probably is getting a ring, right? Of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's easy, right? <laughs> right? I mean, yeah, you can't not give him a ring. He's on the team, which is weird because he didn't decide to come and play for the championship. Yeah, which is pretty weird, but that's how the NBA is. But yeah. anyway, uh, those are all the people that are losing. Uh, they're probably gonna Javel is probably gonna accept this player option, I imagine, and Andy Davis might drop it. Uh, Dion Waiters, Markeith Morris, Jared, yeah. Um, They're probably gonna sign about five 
How many players is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, <laughs> Just kidding. There's about, 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 about nine. There's about nine players. Three, four, five, the whole roster. Yeah. Maybe. No, <laughs> no, it's about nine players on that list. Probably about uh, the only five. One there's LeBron. I don't. That's think. pretty crazy. <laughs> that these are all the players that the Lakers picked up on one-year contracts. Yeah, and they're they, not. They're not like going to bring on. The, they're not going to bring back. <laughs> they're not going to bring back Dion for sure. They're not going to bring back J.R. Smith for sure. Not for sure. They're not going to bring back Costas for sure. They're not bringing back Marquise. About five of those players are coming back to the Lakers. They about might five. bring back Rajon Rondo if he signs a decent contract. I feel like his he stock will. is yeah. super high. I think he, he wants is. to stay with LeBron for yeah. the rest of his career. I mean, you I'm sure, said, like, but yeah. You know what did he say? He said like, like he's so happy that... Like I don't know if he's lost. happy he's playing with LeBron, but he said, he said when they lost him in Boston that no, he no, looked at that guy and he knew that the way he thinks is the same way I think. Like we, we look at the player, we look at the the floor. It's a mental game. Yeah, it's a mental game. He thinks it's one hundred percent of a mental game, no, and he knows that I, the way I study and the way he studies, we'd never lose to another team. Four, at four. times, yeah, four times in a series. No, he. It was when he said he, he thought that when he saw LeBron lose to the Warriors, when he was like going insane, when it was only him, he was like, yeah, I know if I play with a player like that, that knows exactly what to do, where the players are, and all that, like. We're not losing. Like, there's impossible that we lose in four. Yeah, I saw this there's report. Just all that IQ in the court. It's I crazy. saw this report that LeBron mm-hmm. was so happy about the scouting report one time, like in the bubble, because you know how they look at film, that he got up in the middle of the film session and just started clapping like, what a great scout. Who did this? This is a great scout. Like, he was, like, so excited about the film, no, it's which not. is super cool, right? LeBron's IQ for the game is... He was so happy for that. Insane. You think he's gonna ever gonna be a coach? Like you think he's nah. ever LeBron? gonna share nah. that? No, I don't think so. He'll be a like, not a coach, but like an owner. Oh. He'll be owner. He won't be a coach. Yeah. The only people I can see them bringing back LeBron. Oh my god. No, yeah, I yeah, I'd never. I, don't know. I would hate though. it because if he becomes a coach, he has to be the goat. I feel the like best coach ever. Because he right? loses a game the in the regular season, and that's it. He has yeah. to get fired. Michael Jordan would never. I feel like you being one of the greatest players of all time, and then becoming a coach just taints your legacy. If you like. You're not a good coach. Yeah. Did you see Nick Wright? What he did to damn? What's that guy that looks like Brandon Marshall? <laughs> no, no, it's that it's that ESPN guy who looks like oh, he he'd be like Stephen A. Smith if he was, if he was like bleach his hair. Oh, oh, uh, Gutierrez, freaking no, no, he's bla- he's light skin. Oh, I don't know. Oh, uh, Chris Bouchard. Chris yeah, Bouchard. Bouchard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Chris Bouchard. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bouchard. Nick Wright and Bouchard was like on on a panel together, and Nick Wright was like, "Hey, so what do you think?" Like totally fucking playing with him, right? He's like, "Hey, Nick, what do you think about uh?" Sorry, not Nick Wright. Nick Wright was the one talking to Chris. He goes, "Hey, Chris, what do you think about uh Jimmy Butler's legacy after this finals, man?" Yeah, like, I saw that. It must have tainted it, right? And and Chris was like, "No, I think it made it way better." He's like, "No, nah, man, Giannis is way better off. He's O and O." In the finals, and now Jimmy Butler is 0-1. So, you know, finals lost. That's the biggest deal ever. But he's saying it on purpose because people say that LeBron is blah and blah yeah. in the finals. So he's using it against them. He's like, oh. nah, 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 you can't tell me that a finals loss is not heavier than not going to the finals at all because Michael lost before he made it to the finals. Of course. So now everyone's like, oh, okay, Nick. Like, because he was being so, like, it was so well played. Because when I saw the headline, it was just a quote, but without any inflection behind it. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what the? F- what is Nick Wright on? <laughs> Worst legacy. And then I saw him say it, and I'm like, oh, he's being so coy right now. It was so funny. I loved it. Yeah, no, no, no. Nobody on that TV show was having it, though. Everybody was like, yo, yeah, everyone's like, him. Every, they were like, oh, Chris, here we go. And like, you started him up. And Nick Wright goes, no, no, this is way, way. <laughs> like, him and Shannon so are like funny. the huge, the biggest bronze sexuals. And, and like the whole like God. TV um Nick industry. never heard that before. Braun sexuals. You never heard of Braun sexuals? <laughs> have you no. never been on Twitter? No, I don't have yeah, it's like anyone that like worships LeBron, yeah. he, they're a bronze sexual. I've seen him I've seen uh Shannon Sharp, he brought an actual a goat. goat. Yeah, he brought like, a goat with a maker's jersey. I used yeah. that in the thumbnail. Oh no, I used him flexing with a goat mask. <laughs> I should have used a little goat. Go James. So yeah, I see them bringing <laughs> back Dwight Howard and Love Rondo and obviously KCP. Yeah. Um, but Jr. Dion, Jared Dudley, they might be, bring back like a UD role. Because apparently he's like the funniest, best teammate ever. Yeah, he definitely is. So uh, JaVale McGee is probably going to pick up his player option to get into the ring. What about Avery Bradley? Yeah, Avery, that's, that's a question. Avery is a no, big I question. Because if I think you just played really good with, without him. Like as Rondo. And then you, that's because you see, you saw Caruso step. 
Yeah, yeah. you gotta Caruso. take that into consideration. But Avery Bradley's still Caruso? valuable. Yeah, yeah. To me, Avery Bradley's still one of the best defenders in the league. Caruso yeah. went from getting no minutes to starting. Isn't that crazy? On the final game. Crazy. Yeah. No minutes to starting. Yeah. But fifty two and nineteen, over under? Over. Over. Over? Yeah. Over. Wait, fi- they, wait, 52 and 19? Sorry. I think this Under. is going to be the year where, well, this year or maybe next year, but maybe this year where Davis is going to have a better season than LeBron. Then LeBron? Score more I, points. I don't think that's going to happen. Score more yet. points? Does he, he might go. I, I can see him winning MVP. Well, I can't. Yeah. Well, well, I can't. I can't. Okay. No, I like LeBron the, on your team. Go Giannis three like, years like in a row. LeBron still was still being the best player, but I think Giannis going three years in a row. Yo, if Giannis three. gets it three years in a row, he joins like an elite club. Like good. Right? I'll, I'll be pissed. Still no low finals key. appearance. I'll be pissed. Low key. Early yeah. MVP vote. He'll start getting like a Westbrook reputation. Early that MVP. He just starts winning vote. shit with, uh, without rings. Wait, what? Early MVP. LeBron James. Anthony Davis. Oh, KD. These are obviously way too soon, but. Come say, on, Jay. Yo, I got James somebody, Harden. S- someone say Luka Doncic. Goddamn. I was gonna. I was, I was I, thinking I, I about ain't gonna that. lie to you. I was. I was gonna say Jamal. I Murray. think he'll be close, but oh, I like that. I was gonna say I, Jamal Murray. I, I like. Yo, that. talking about Jamal Murray. I put in the group chat Fuck one time. It, Zach Levine. Before the <laughs> before the bubble, I said Jamal Murray is a better player than Demar Derozan. Everybody in the group chat looked at me sideways. Even me. Yeah, I think everybody. Well, yeah, because back then he wasn't. I mean, it was right before the bubble, and I was like, "This player, Jamal and DeRozan. he wasn't. I mean, I probably said it was close because I love him. He was like balling. Jamal before the bubble, averaged like That's seventeen. Like, no, okay, no, I changed my. Sorry, I'm gonna change my answer. My bad. Sorry, Soto. I'm gonna change my answer for MVP. Yo, uh, Jamal Murray. You that, didn't change. Your answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said, no, I said, I said, I said James Harden at first. No, but then you oh. went. Cha- nah, Jamal Murray. <laughs> yeah, gonna, yeah. Oh, I, well, I'll um, <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking Luca also, but I feel like Luka this Porzingis question is going to become a real one. Luca, like health wise, it's a big off season for them. Yeah, they're getting and they might get. Off the I, books. I think they're going to get uh, Montres. Nah, and they're going to get Dwight Powell back. That was a big piece. They're going to get Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid to Dallas for who? For no, who? I'm just kidding. You getting Porzingis? They got Doc. Porzingis and Simmons. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. Sorry. I, I got a little uh, fantasizing and shit. I was right. fantasizing about freaking Embiid and Dantage. That would be crazy, though. Yeah, that'd that'd be, that'd I don't crazy. know. What about Giannis and Dantage? That would be... I don't know yeah. where Embiid... Giannis at the point... I mean, uh, Luke at the point and Giannis at the center. Yeah, that would be like... That would be that'll small be, ball at his best. Yeah, that would be They're a low-key destination. Re- Dallas? For, I don't think for that's Giannis? low-key. For twenty twenty one, for twenty twenty two, I think uh, it's between yeah. between Miami and Dallas. And the Warriors. The Warriors. The Warriors. The Warriors are trade. Mm-mm. The Warriors are a trade. Yeah, but I mean, well, who are they right, going to trade? I'm talking about the free agency. Yeah, free agency. I'm just saying Mavs. him wanting to play. I think that's up there. Yeah, if they get together, I'm I definitely like that's back to back to back. Who? If Giannis the Warriors and, and Luca were to get together. Hmm. That's interesting. Where does Joel and B fit? I feel like he doesn't fit anywhere. Yo. He fits like Portland. Like a team like Portland. You hate Joel Maybe. and B. I don't hate Joel and B, but he's just so yeah, he does. He he's just like so B. outdated. Outda- mm. He's so twenty not even two, 2002. If like. you were to lose a little bit of weight. <laughs> <laughs> if you were to lose a little bit of weight and actually like right now on defense dunk by Shaq. <laughs> be a little bit more consistent with a shot, you wouldn't say that. Yeah, right, but he isn't. Be, all he has to do is shoot his yo, shot good. more consistent. And no, he has to be more athletic. He is athletic. Does he's LeBron very athletic. win the, he's fat. Does LeBron win he's the athletic. finals he's with fat. Hey, hey, does oh, LeBron man. win the finals with Embiid instead of Davis? No. No. Not no. even close. Not even close. Not even close. So you, so you Denver think Denver would, Denver would have beat him? Yo, I don't know about all that. those Lakers break the points, beat him. break points? Come on now. The Heat would have beat him. But that has to do a lot with Now they're all like, LeBron, wait. LeBron, coach. Coach, time out. Did anybody see my Big Mac? Where's my Big Mac? Or he's probably probably Chick-fil-A type of dude, right? Oh, God. Anybody see? Yo, you killing him right now. My spicy chicken sandwich? Spicy deluxe? Oh, Lord. Embiid MVP. (laughs) <laughs> no, I'm joking. Nah, who, this, man, who they got? this man Paul Pierce out They here. got the Antonio, right? Or no, who they end up Shoot, getting? Oh, Doc, Doc. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Doc. You see there, if he doesn't work out with Doc, like like shape-wise, then I'll start 
I see, agreeing with you because Brett Brown is Harris a winning bad MVP coach. Before like, I'm not going to judge him. Yes. 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 You really don't like Joel Embiid? What do you, what do you say now? Toby, I said I see Tobias Harris winning MVP before Joel Embiid. <laughs> Ouch. Hey, Thanks. Tobias Harris After on the what Lakers? he did in the playoffs? Wait, did he go on the Clippers? After what he did in the playoffs? And you're saying Toby? Did you see what Joel Embiid did? Yes, he tried to... He tried his you not he yo you're thing. serious yo he I'm did his so thing. upset right now he did his thing you see you didn't, no, you didn't if watch. only he didn't watch never mind no he didn't what do you mean I didn't watch you, bro Toby had like a total of like thirty points throughout the whole series yeah Toby freaking disappeared yeah he didn't do well but I'm talking and about, Embiid averaged I'm talking 30. about I'm talking about underdog no you weren't you were just saying this playoff yes no I'm talking about I see Toby being an MVP before Joel Embiid underdog under underdog. anyone no. Do you see how good Toby was under Doc last time in the Clippers? But we're talking he about, was almost an all star in the West. But I'm pulling out more recent stuff, last year's playoffs. Okay, and Toby well, I'm was pulling out horrendous. Do- Toby under Doc. Is that it? Recency bias? Because we didn't use recency bias as the best player on the team. He didn't even get a win. So you're saying Tobias would play harder for Doc? And they're just not playing. No, I just think they're- Doc knows how to use Tobias Harris the best. You're going to tell me that coaches can't bring the most out of certain players? I think. Embiid. Well, I think he could bring the most out of. Um, and Bede is the only person who can bring the most out of Embiid because he's gonna, never going to stick to a regimen. He has effort issues. I don't know. That, a coach doesn't fix that. Embiid fixes that. And until he does, I can't believe in him. Like Jason says, that's your opinion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I can't, I can't I mean, argue with that. I mean, those are facts. That. That's what's holding him back. He's holding himself back. So you feel like he doesn't work hard enough. That's what you're saying. My boy says stop eating. I think Popeyes, he doesn't give sandwiches. enough effort as much as he can. Oh, okay. Because there's, there's he, he. I feel like he plays with a lot of effort. Yeah, like like how you he saying that he didn't of, put he, effort in that Boston series? Yeah, especially when especially he didn't especially, put an effort. I'm not saying he didn't put an effort. I'm saying he could have he could have had more gas in the tank if he took care of himself better. Oh, okay, okay. Oh well, yeah. Okay, okay. So you oh, So you yeah. feel like his. It's like a Shaq problem. But that's my ar- whole argument about him going to the Heat, that he wouldn't have that issue. Yeah, because the Heat, they have, they have one of the best trainers in the league. So. Sure, but so it's wait, up to him. So you feel like his potential is holding him back because of his health. That's what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do agree with that. He needs though. to take yeah, care yeah, of yeah. himself. Oh, okay, okay. Because to me, right. if Embiid was healthy, he'll for sure be better than Yeah, Jokic. no, for okay. sure. If Embiid okay. was faster... He's still pretty strong. I don't think it's the strength of the problem. But he was faster he has great and had more stamina and could run back on, on twice as many plays as he does. Well, maybe not twice, but 20% more plays. Mm-hmm. He'd be miles better. Miles. He really would. Okay. Have no, you, instead I, of having to go half-court offense every single play because Joel Embiid is gassed after, 30, uh, after 13 minutes, like, <laughs> come on. You're holding everyone back. Okay. I can't argue with that. He needs to stop. He needs to get over that mental hump and the Ben Simmons needs to get over his stupid little shooting hump. And they're they're godly. What a god squad. But and Philly, Tobias Harris on the dog. No, nah, but you can't really put that on MB. It's just the all right, I could Yeah, I blame Brett Brown the most. Yeah. Not Brett Brown, it's just the it's players. No, nah, it's the players. Like like you said in like earlier episodes, like they look so good on paper. Yeah. But they don't know how to put it together. They play at their All-star floor. Point guard is yeah. can't shoot a three pointer. Who? Ben Simmons. Ben. Yeah. That's but honestly, Brent. that's not Brent Brown's fault. But honestly, Brent. I mean, not Brent. Ben Simmons. He's so big. I mean, he's so talented. He needs to be like Coach Bolsher to, to Duncan Robinson after game yeah, two. Yeah, exactly. Shoot the fucking ball. Yeah, to me, a good coach. If he's not shooting that, you pull him out the game, right? Like you have to like show him the like, yo, we want you to shoot. If not, you're not gonna help he this don't team. You have to shoot. Though, bro, he's six ten and he's stronger than every guard that he's playing against. But they're taller. But I mean, you and they're playing zone. But, do you but you they don't the play their best ball. Yeah, yeah, they sag off him and they play. Yeah, they trap in the. But it's not even like sag off him. It's like don't even pay attention yeah. to him until he's ten feet inside. Yeah, that's crazy. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's know. the reason he's, he's scoring all like those points because he has a wide open runway. Uh, yeah, but this team is way better with him taking the shot. He's just not confident in his shooting, man. There's a lot of players that don't have to shoot and they could be. Pretty much effective, and he's one of those players. Yo, now that the bubble so. was over, who's better, Jason Tatum or Ben Simmons? Jason Tatum. Tatum. Yeah. Tatum. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Yeah. Hey, a few weeks ago, everybody was coming at me, you included. Yeah, Simmons hasn't played in like three months. All right, that's fine. <laughs> Jason right, was so, still better right. the whole season. Those so Jokic are... is better than KD? No, I'm saying Jason Tatum the whole season was better than Ben Simmons. No, that's not true. Simmons was in the in the defensive player of the year run. So what? 
What do you mean? So, so what? what? You see? I, I don't think know. that. I don't think that's the right point. The right point is that an All Star break. We were wondering if J- it should be Jason Tatum or Jalen Brown in the All Star game. That was actually a question at one point. No, and then def- the three months after that, Jason Tatum killed the game. I think that that's the point where Jason Tatum surpassed Ben Simmons because before that, I don't think he was better. You yeah, wait. You didn't think Jason Tatum was better than Ben Simmons? No, absolutely not. I, not no. till after. Uh, not till after the All Star. Tony, break. him. They were no, I thought. No, I thought Jason Tatum was already better than Ben Simmons. No, absolutely not. Well, Ben Simmons, he's so like, he's effective. Ben Simmons can't shoot, and that's it. That's it. Everything else, he does it excellent. I love Ben Simmons. I like his that's game. That's how I look at him. I like his game. You don't have to shoot. You just gotta learn how to shoot, bro. He yeah, that's shoot. it. That's yeah. literally it. Rondo so. was effective when he wasn't a good shooter. Yeah, that's why I think he's gonna do At least good Rondo takes it. At least Rondo Co- takes the three. You got me. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Like it's, it's like Magic it Johnson from, wasn't a good shooter. He still took it. Yeah, like, like, yeah. It's just taking it at least because it's, it's the like, shoot keeping the defense guessing. Okay. All right. Yeah, I got you. Hey, Magic Johnson did have Kareem, no? Yeah, he did, but you he, don't really have to do much at that point. Yeah. I mean, well, if he misses, Kareem's Kareem. gonna get it and pass it right back. Yeah, yeah but then Kareem doesn't miss. <laughs> yeah, Kareem did not miss. Yeah, yeah I feel like That's Kareem will take problem. a jump shot. He'll miss. I'm like, man, fuck it. Yeah, <laughs> Skyhook, right? Yeah. That's what I'm, <laughs> like, yeah. I'm missing this one. <laughs> it just tur- shimmy turn hook. Yeah, it was a go to cheat. A whole cheat, cheat code. Boy, it was cheat code. All right, well, uh, let's see what else I got here. We got the NBA draft coming up. Uh, let me go ahead and bring up the Ringer mock made by Kevin O'Connor. Link in the description if you guys want to look at that. Uh, taking a little bit to get there. So at first overhaul from Kevin O'Connor, we have Anthony Edwards going to the Minnesota Timberwolves. He is 6'9". Sorry, wow. he has a 6'9 wingspan. Yeah. He's 6'5". Weighs 225. Pretty hefty. He's pretty healthy. And, uh, yeah, he says his ball handling and his athleticism are out of this world. Uh, I know you watch a lot of college, so what would you say about him? Yeah, he's very talented. He could get a shot off at any time he wants. And the only thing that's kind of like, like shaky. Kinda shaky is his shot selection. Like he takes Sometimes he takes a lot of like bad shots. And I've seen like it. Like forced? Yeah, forced shots. Like he'll, there were times like he was shooting over like three players in certain possessions. This player comps for Victor Oladipo, Eric Gordon, and Dion Waiters, according to Kevin O'Connor. He says that he's powerful driving to the rim when he initiates contact. Uh, I see him becoming a scoring type, maybe developing a shot later. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you think that'll help the Timberwolves out at all? Um, if they were to get Edwards? I yeah, feel like they're so going to they trade that pick. So they get the scoring back that they lost from, uh, from, from Wiggins, and they, they get supplemented by... A crazy Edwards, who <laughs> looks like he can get to the rim at will, even though he's kind of undersized. No, he's not undersized. He's a guard. Yeah, he's six five. Yeah, six five. He's two twenty five, and he can take contact and make the make the bucket. That's pretty. It's pretty useful out there for a for a D'Lo to have those two options. He freakishly athletic though. You know what's gonna be useful yeah. for D'Lo when he has Devin Booker as a teammate. Devin Booker. When they trade, the about, there's yeah. no way the Suns let Devin Booker out their clutches after they just went eight and zero. Yeah, yeah, they can, yeah, they, they can, but uh, yeah, they're getting the know. first overall pick. You get them the Watson. first and uh, oh, cool. so they're gonna be re- rebuilding again hey. with, with Lamelo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, you, you can't do. It. I mean, I would love it for Minnesota. I don't see that, bro. After missing on Alex Len, after missing on uh, the all sh- the other three that, dudes that, that are out of that the shooting league. big, uh, that, uh, dragon, dragon. Uh, Oh, Dragon Bender. Bender, yeah. Um, after missing on Josh he was Jackson, supposed to be crazy. if they were to trade the pick to Phoenix, they're not gonna, I feel like they're, they're not gonna draft Lamelo, bro. They're not gonna miss on the one guy they. No, sorry, they're not gonna tr- uh, trade away the one guy they hit on on an accident. Yeah, with on pick the 14. 14 pick. Yeah, they're not gonna trade him. Yeah, away. and a player that scores 70 points in a the game, they're gonna wait for him to walk. If anything, there's what if, no yeah, way. Yeah, what if he's him. like, I don't want to play here anymore. No what right. trade me? Uh, all right, then, then yeah, they have no. Point, they have no choice. But he hasn't done that yet. I don't yeah. think he will. <laughs> like, this man literally scored <laughs> 70 points in a game. Uh, oh, my God. I just realized. To be continued. Yeah. That the red mic is over there instead of over there, and I'm agitated. <laughs> it's okay. You guys have this all out of whack. The orange mic is supposed to go there. The black mic is supposed to go right there. And the red. This is crazy. Max, it's okay. You didn't place record. It's, it's okay. I am so tilted right now. Uh, boy, the- leaning. Max is crazy, man. Next up, we got <laughs> the the European dude going to Golden State. We got uh, what? Really? Yeah, this is if they keep their pick, I guess. 
Yes, it's, it's, uh, you're tripping. Whoever this made this list, Kevin O'Connor is alive. Okay, you're tripping. Then what the hell is this kid's name? They're getting freaking His wise men. Weird name. Denny Advij- Advidija, 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 Advidija. Uh, <laughs> I'm a little bit familiar with him. Playmaking, bit. feel for the game, interior oh, scoring, ball off-ball ball defense. Finger. Those are the highlights that he's giving him. Uh, six nine height, two fifteen weight, little underweight. Um, it's your weight, dude. Player comps Comparison are Luca. Da- Gallo, Dario Saric, and Nicholas Batum. So bigs that can feel for the game and that can move pretty European. well. European, yeah. I feel yeah. like this would this me personally. I think this would be a bad pick. They should pick Lamelo Ball. That's just me. But if you're the Warriors, you'd pick Lamelo Ball over James Wiseman. I forgot about him. Was, James Wiseman. I'm yeah, surprised he didn't have James Wiseman. Nah, yeah. I would pick James Wiseman. They yeah. need a big that can shoot. Yeah. I protect the him. rim. You're yeah, but I mean, the thing with bigs, like really big guys, is that they take, they're always projects, mm-hmm. right? They're always projects. Yeah, the only, last time I could think about a big that was automatically on it was JoJo after two seasons of being injured and then Porzingis. The I mean, DeAndre season. Aiden's been consistent. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, I mean only yeah. the, the that suspension he had, but he's been good. But his, but his rookie year, he wasn't all that. James Wiseman can do a and 10. DeAndre Aiden type of stats. He wasn't all that his rookie year. That's because Luke and Trey weren't. He it. wasn't a double double his, his rookie year. No, what, about, uh, what about uh, yeah. Mitchell Robinson from the Knicks? <laughs> Mitchell Robinson from the Knicks. That's he's doing. He's pretty good. <laughs> he was. He was. He, he was, did. He did pretty good his rookie season. He did pretty up? good on the Knicks. On the Knicks, but it's yeah, a bad yeah, team. Yeah. Who's grabbing those boards? Who's taking those boards away from him? Nobody, because that man tall as fuck. Well. Yeah. You said you said like a big man. I think if you draft James Wiseman, you're agreeing to a project, and the Warriors don't have time for a project. So uh, I don't who, think so that who you're agreeing to a project should... with James Wiseman. That man is a very he's, skilled player. Yeah, he's skilled already. So who but you... he's going to be out conditioned. He's, he's going to be look the third string, maybe there. fourth string. I think I think the reason he has Danny Avija at going to the Warriors is just because he played in a pro league already. Okay, but they don't need so, that player. They have Wiggins. Oh, how do you, how do you feel nine. about the Warriors uh, trading away that pick? He's more of a like a four. He's not like a Hen, like that second pick, Wiggins, and like um uh uh the rookie. What Eric Pascal? Okay. For yeah, package. yeah, Eric Pascal's still uh, he's he's there. How do you he's feel about, for a trade? How do you feel about like PG? For Paul, Paul George Paul going George. to the Warriors for that trade? <laughs> That'd be bad. Nah, you don't give the Clippers second overall pick. You can't. Uh. That'd be horrible. Why not? Nah, that'd be bad. That'd be horrible. Yeah, that'd be bad. I think. <laughs> for the Clippers, yeah, that'd be bad. Not for the Warriors. Like Paul George going to the Warriors, that'd be good for the Warriors. But for the Clippers, with Luca and be, Jokic kind of and Goran Dragic and all these European players being successful in the NBA, I feel like that has given the nod for all other young. They're, they're all playing. super hit or miss. Yeah, you can go back as Darko Militich for going over hype Euro players. I think they're just giving it the shot because they have. Nah, they're you know, they're, they're able to take the shot on him not being that good because they're still the Warriors. But nah, European players. Uh, they're always recently. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're very skilled. Recently, they've been doing pretty good. Recently, except for like Darko Milicic and a whole bunch of players. But I mean, the last guy I can think of is Dragon Bender. Yeah, he except for, what the uh, big that didn't work. Yeah. yeah, and I no, mean, the Bagley. Euro, the I Euro mean, that Bagley. Work. We haven't seen Bagley yet. The Euro that didn't work. Oh, European. Yeah, yeah. but we get, we're we're getting to see Luka Doncic. Um, so Aiden, rookie year, he averaged sixteen point three and ten point three rebounds with assist, what one steal, one block. That's pretty good. Sixteen ten rookie year, and then he went up to eighteen. And he was on the rising star challenge too. Everyone was in the Rising Star Challenge. No. Brandon <laughs> Jennings was in the Rising Star Challenge. Well, hey, he was actually hey, good. That boy had a crazy rookie year. Okay? Yeah, he did. He had 55 points one game. Against the Warriors, right? Yes. Yeah. Wow, when he dropped Curry. I don't, I'm sure you've seen that highlight. Yeah, like, when he drops Curry, oh my God. Next up, we got LaMelo going to the Hornets, I guess, for star power. Playmaking, feel for the game, and ball handling. He's going to take him under his wing. 6'7", 190, very light. <laughs> That's Plays crazy. like Jason Williams. Uh, white chocolate. Lonzo Ball, his brother, of course, and Sean Livingston. Uh, he's the biggest make or break player in the draft, I'd say. <laughs> like he's super. Lonzo like Ball. I say him or Edwards. I feel yeah. like he's just like his brother. They needed to gain more weight. Nah, nah. He Lamelo is way better than his brother. I'm saying it right now. Lamello's, not on defense. No, nah, not on defense, but offensive wise, 
He's way better than his brother. I'd say he's probably better. He's played yeah. he's played pro longer. I've always said he's the better brother, but he's not con- has a consistent shot. I yeah, he, he is not consistent. I yeah, he's he, not consistent. Thought, he takes a lot of bad shots. Like he too. he does not shoot gr- good from the field. He doesn't. He, yeah, he, he takes a, a lot of bad shots. on defense until he yeah. gets that mass. I yeah. saw he donated his salary from the Australian League to right. go towards the forest fires, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that was fire. So I guess he's not an idiot. You think that raises his stock? <laughs> Maybe. I think so. <laughs> How? <laughs> my stock. How? Raises it's my just stock. Guy. I like him a little better, you know? <laughs> you When you're drafting a, a player to be your star, you want him to be a good kid. To be a good face for your team. Yeah, because yeah. when you're the you one problem maker. Yeah. yeah. But uh, it's hard to draft a problem maker. No. Who's Jaleel, a problem maker? Dion Waiters. Jaleel Okafor. He was a what? He was fighting. His rookie year, he was fighting <laughs> like every other day. With, <laughs> G-Y. with crowds. Because they were coming up to him like, yo, you suck. You should never play in the NBA. <laughs> and he would literally... F- there was video of him on TV fighting. Nah, I, never, I don't even know yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know yeah. There's JJ Redick was... Uh, he got a DUI right before getting drafted. That was hilarious. I remember. That's funny. People hated him too. <laughs> Next up, we got uh, the Bulls drafting. He's nice. Yeah, I don't know his name. Nice. Killian Hayes. Hayes. Killian Hayes. He's like disgusting. French, French kid. He's disgusting. Do you, think, do you think him and Frank talk? No. Of course. They know each other. Oh. Nilakina? Yeah. Yeah, of course. And Rudy? I don't know about Rudy. Together? I don't know about uh, Rudy's a lot <laughs> older than those two, but nah, but he's really good. And he's like one of the youngest players on, in the draft, too. D'Lo and Manu are his player comps. Playmaking is his best skill. He can whip the pass off the dribble with accuracy and hit cutters with precision. That's what uh, Kevin O'Connor says. He's 6'5", 215. He's only, he's only 18, apparently. Yeah, he's, he's the youngest Super player in the young. draft. It's like he's Marvin Bagley, right? Marvin Bagley's only 21 still. That's crazy. Yeah, that's true. He, he graduated early, like he reclassified, so he graduated. He's twenty-one years old. He reclassified the two thousand seventeen. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, Killian Hayes on the the Bulls. Why not, right? Yeah, why not? The, the Bulls just had to try and draft best available, right? So you hot take: Bulls are gonna make the eighth seed. Bulls, uh, you know how many teams have a chance for the eighth seed in both conferences? Exactly. Oh well, no, no, not, no, not not like no. The East, yeah, the East is like six. The teams. bottom of the East is complete garbage. I know, but they can all take the eighth because of it. Like John the, Wall is back. Like the eighth, you, yeah, eighth. You got Washington, Orlando. Uh, who did I just say? That team. You got the Hawks. Uh, Bulls. Man, I can't wait for John Wall to come back and remind everyone why he's better than Kyrie Irving. Better than Kyrie Irving. Better. He's not better Ky- than Kyrie Irving. Better than Kyrie Irving. Oh, yeah. He's not better than Kyrie Irving when he's injured, of course. Nah, he's but not. But when he was in the league? Nah, he's not. Hell. Better. He's not better than Kyrie Irving. You Kyrie were, might be the better scorer, but John Wall might be the better overall player. Yeah, I agree. Just by rebounding, bro, hit, better passer, defender. defender. Far, defender Look at me far. in the eye. John Wall drops. All right, Kyrie Irving gives you 25 and 5, right? Is that fair? I'd say 25 and 8. (laughs) No, Kyrie's not giving you 8. 25 and 6 is the most I'll give you. 25 and 7. Why are you giving him more assists for? Why not? Because he doesn't give you 7 assists. He doesn't have Kevin Durant on his team. Just got to pass it to the man. Little (laughs) Mitty. 25 and 6, is that fair? From who? For Kyrie Irving. Yeah, that's fair. 25 and 6? You want 26 and 6? I'll give you 26 and 6. He raises right. points, but not his assist. He can't pass the ball off to KD one more time. Yo, stop. All right. I'm, what are you doing? Bad. You think he's going to average seven assists? I think he might average this seven This is an MVP assists. season. How's that MVP 27 season? 27 and 7, bro? In today's 26 league, and how's seven. that MVP season? That's not MVP season. With that's the first bad. overall seed? Like, right. what do you want about? Oh, my bad. Sorry. All right. 26 and 6. Right? Mm-hmm. John Wall gets you 20. Six less points. But he more assists? 10 assists. He will get you a double-double while guarding your best guard. And those six points rebounds. are six points that Kyrie Irving already gave up on defense. Okay, but so who cares? All right. Kyrie Irving is a better overall player than John Wall. Explain. Explain. Yo, Kyrie Irving hit one of the biggest All shots. Right. We're, not saying, one shot. so, We're not saying who's clutcher. One shot. We're not saying who's clutcher. We're saying who's the better overall player. Kyrie Irving. Explain. He's just better. Like He's just better. You're not making an argument here. If, Ky- if John Wall was on that LeBron team... He would have done everything Kyrie did too. No. Nah, yeah. So. He wouldn't have hit the shot. Mm. Yeah, he would have. No. Nah. 
No, he wouldn't have. I can believe shot. him hitting the shot. I don't know about that. Joel no, shot. That. Even though Joel got better, they wouldn't be in that shot Joel, situation. Back. Joel, Joel, not even Joel been in shot, shot got better throughout the years, but he's not a better shooter. No, no obviously not a better shooter, but they wouldn't have been in that situation if John Wall was on that team. And on top of that, John Wall is kind of reckless. Yeah, he'll throw gang signs in your face. Who cares? No, not, no, not, <laughs> I'm not talking that? about. No, I'm not talking about attitude wise. I'm talking about his play style. That's so funny. John Wall had to come he's out and apologize. He's still super smart. What are you talking about? Yeah, his IQ got better, but bro, he's, he's, he's. I was gonna say he's, he's Trey Young with defense, but Trey no. Young gets you thirty. So <laughs> no, but he just because he's a better shooter. He's, he's reckless on he's reckless on offense and on defense too. Like he gets, I mean, like he has a high percentage back, of him careful. getting hurt in any other game. Okay, but when so they're playing, Kyrie. he's better. No. Kyrie too, and Kyrie, Kyrie's lot missed a lot of time over the last two years. Missed a what? Oh, it, oh yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Like, it's not like Kyrie, injury, Kyrie isn't injury prone anymore either. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was gonna say maybe because I'm a, I'm a fan of both, but I just think I think Kyrie's just a little bit Kyrie better than John Wall. It's just, it's just me. I don't think <laughs> the so. The Nets are making the playoffs. Yeah, I think they, I think they can make the playoffs. No, if they, said if, if the they're Kevin, healthy. If, if Kevin Durant yeah, and, and Kyrie Irving both get injured. The Nets are not making the playoffs. They're yeah. not making the playoffs. Yeah. Their, best, their next best player is what? DJ? Levert. Spencer Dinwiddie. Levert. Oh, Le- yeah, Kurt, uh, and then Spencer Dinwiddie. Spencer Dinwiddie. And Jared Allen. Oh, ben yeah, Biotra. Jared Allen. Mm-hmm. Joe Harris. Yeah, he's good. I think he's out. I don't think they're Yeah, him. I don't think they were signing him either. I think he's going to be too much money. Uh, Anyway, yeah, this guy. Uh, what's his name? Killian Hayes? Yeah, he, uh, he'd be great <laughs> for the Bulls. Yeah, Bulls just, just have the draft best available because... I mean, right now they're relying on Zach Levine. Yo, so, why are you talking bad about Zach Levine like that? So, yeah, uh, go ahead, Killian, go get him. And then James Wiseman. You hate Joel and now Cavs. you hate Zach Levine? That's super interesting because they already have um, Zach Levine pulled the Reggie Miller. They already have Andre Drummond. <laughs> He's so listening. And Love. And Kevin Love. It's weird. Kevin O'Connor, what are you up to? <laughs> what, James? James well, Wiseman. To, to the, the Cavs? Cavs? Yeah. That's a lot of big men. Yeah, that's that a lot of big men. I said mean, you got to join guards too, no? freaking what, the Cavs? Andre Drummond. Yeah. Who do they got? They guards. have a lot of guards Twin too. Twin Towers up in they that bitch. They got uh, Garland. They have uh, Garland. Sexton. Sexton. Kevin Porter. Yeah, he's a shooting guard. That team Porter. is so young. Shooting guards. Shooting Imagine guard they all Porter. blossom at the same time. <gasps> they did have Jordan. They had Clarkson at one point. Yeah, but he's they, in Utah. Though, he's no. in Utah. But yeah, they do have a, they have a lot. They, all right, I know you're trying to say. They have a lot of players that do the same exact thing. On, on yeah, because all their guards are like because you're just waiting for one of them to work out. Yeah, literally. Yeah, a lot of people swear Colin Sexton is gonna be really good. I think he's gonna be really good. Yeah, I think he's gonna be good too. Yeah, he's like crazy. Like he's like really <laughs> crazy. No, he'll do he any, is, he is. No, he's he really crazy. Who who was who was the great that uh, they were playing in like college or high school and he looks at him and his that face, was high school. Yeah, that was him. And he looks at him and he's like he's like your kid is trash. To Penny Hardaway. Tra- yes, this is Penny Hardaway. Yeah. Talking about Penny Hardaway's so, kid, yeah, yeah. who he's playing against, and he goes, he looks at me, he's like, "Your kid is trash." trash. Like, <laughs> isn't that crazy? No, that no, is crazy. He's, he's famous for this meme when, like, I guess. Yeah, he's like looking at the person. He's yeah, he was looking. That crazy were, eyes. Oh, that one. The when free he throw line. stares at him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he is crazy. Yeah, he's crazy. <laughs> well, he's just. I mean, that's not a bad quality. Yeah, he's a psychopath. I mean, they have James Wiseman. He says he's a mild mannered Rashid Wallace or a high energy Hassan <laughs> Whiteside, <laughs> which sounds Super. awesome to me. High energy Hassan Whiteside. Sign me up for that. That I love. Mild mannered Rashid Wallace. Elite measurables <laughs> with long arms, and less strong text? frame. Is he a defender like that? Yeah, he's Why a pretty. Not? Yeah, he's a pretty good defender. Active rebounder. Uh, That's what I'm saying he would fit perfect on the Warriors. No, you're so uh, sad. Yo, get the fuck out of here! Dude, with look that at shit. you. No, I'm saying it's just because they have the second overall pick. You're always like, talking about the Warriors. No, it says not. rebounding. I'm talking about the Heat a lot. Yo, do I look like Samir? <laughs> Get out of here. Because <laughs> rebounding, shot blocking, and athleticism are his highlights. That's top five picks. After top that, five, top five, top five. After that, I'll just go through them real quick. Ak- They've got Okaro going to the Hawks. Then uh, Akongwu going to the Pistons. Many May he rest in peace after going to the Pistons because <laughs> never see him again. Oh, what about this team? Oh, great. The Knicks get Halliburton. He's nice. He's uh, a sleeper. He will be he's nice a sleeper. if he goes to another team that's not the Knicks. Nah, he's a sleeper, though. He's, no, I'm joking. Yeah, he personally, o- o- yeah, he's a sleeper. Uh, Obi? Yeah. Obi? He's the Obi best. Toppin? Yeah. yeah he's, I think he's the best player in the draft. I'll be topping really? to, yes. to Washington, D.C. Yes. so that John Wall can start, start getting 12 assists a game. Be fire. <laughs> So I, I would have been surprised. I and at number surprised. ten, we got uh, 
Devin Vassell. I've the never heard his that? name before. <laughs> yeah, Phoenix Suns. I'm going to stop right there. Uh, <laughs> like I said, we don't know much about the draft. We I'll don't do. really watch college. He does. You should they said have, he doesn't have, have a comparison. A, you should have he a Jason he's... college. Uh, I told him uh, about that. I mean, if you're down to make us your big board. Yeah, I would. A college big board? But you need to have more live. opinions than just <laughs> we're going to all get him wrong. Because he's better. <laughs> Man, I <laughs> You have a deeper opinion than that. I think that's gonna be pretty big for the uh, for the Phoenix. Nah, this draft class so. is kind of kind of weak though, low key. Yeah, really? it's a really. I feel like it's a really good second or third guy draft. Yeah, but number one guy. What do you mean, James Wiseman? James Wiseman is your number one guy, or a freaking Obi Toppin? Obi Toppin, Toppin is your number one guy. Nah, Obi Toppin is me personally. I, I feel like Edwards? Obi Toppin is the best yeah, player. You're not running in the, the draft. team, right? But it's a, a draft full of second and third guys. Yeah, I feel like you will give Whiteside the max. Yo, get the fuck out of here, Whiteside the max. I hate He's the guy. most talented player in the draft, but then second, I'll say Wiseman. Then I'll throw in like Lamello. Edward. I wish I watched college. Lamello. I feel like college is so complicated to keep up with. I don't know why. Oh, because there's so many games going on. And yeah, like teams. to me, the reason I don't watch college uh, basketball or even football is just because um, players are always changing. So it's just like yeah, I don't. Players always changing. Like, now you know, because they go to the NFL or the NBA. So it's oh, like there's, oh, okay. there's never gonna be like consistency yeah like let's just say i watch a team for two years and i'm like damn i love that player boom he's gone i can't really like cheer <laughs> for him anymore or like well i mean obviously i'm the nfl but yeah we, we're just different. patient we went wait, wait until like, we get into the nba i like yeah. i like college because you never know what you're gonna like watch or boys said, I like people say it's more competitive right? it's but, of course way, it's more competitive. More competitive. but it's like following a league with 80 teams like how do you do that it's insane <laughs> How do you remember all these people's I feel names? Like you gotta grow up on it. Like I'm, I feel like well, I have I no chance. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I feel like I have no chance of getting into that. Yeah. Um, March Madness is the only thing I watch. I have another. I think this is yeah. It's a Bleacher Report article by Zach Bugley. Buying or selling NBA's biggest off off season rumors. So yeah, Chris Paul to the Knicks. These are five rumors that I guess he picked out and wanted to talk to people about. We've got Timberwolves trading the top pick. Uh, oh. Minnesota Timberwolves are overdue I for draft lottery on. luck. I thought that was pop smoke. He says there's brief. I don't got my glasses. There's on. belief that <laughs> Minnesota's pri- Minnesota's priority is to trade realistically down the board, assuming established star won't become av- available from Jonathan Wasserman of BR. Uh, and he says he's buying into that uh, rumor. You guys already said you think he's I believe for it. Devin Booker. Yeah. He, man, Devin Booker is staying put in Phoenix. Yo, <laughs> he's going to want to play with his old teammates. Who's his old teammates? D'Lo and Cat. He they, might they be. They all used to play in Kentucky together. Oh, yeah, they did. No, not, not D'Lo. No, no, he's talking about Devin Booker. Yeah, yeah, Devin but, Booker was to go to Minnesota. D- yeah, he D- played D- with Cat. Yeah, he played, yeah, that's what you said. D'Lo was from Ohio State. Then yeah, it was D-Lo. Cat. Yeah, it was Cat did not go. Yeah, no, Kat. he's saying if Devin. No, oh, I know. <laughs> he's yeah. say, I know, Jason. We're on the same page. Oh, okay, okay. He's saying that he played with. Uh, this is so unimportant. He said he said he played with D'Lo in college. And no, he, he said he played with Carl Anthony Towns. <laughs> he said with both of them. Did you oh. say both of them? Yeah, I said both of them. There you go. Oh, well, I didn't hear that part. I'm sorry. I keep hearing your it's, foot. My it's apologies. just so unimportant. I hate that yeah, we, we kept yeah. talking about this. Yeah, okay. Uh, I don't buy into it. I think they're gonna draft. <laughs> I think the player. <laughs> I think the player they draft <laughs> is gonna be more important <laughs> than the player than the trade piece because I don't think they're gonna get Devin Booker. If they pull off a crazy trade, more power to them. But I think if they draft the player and that player turns out better, because like I said, everyone thinks his draft's full of second and third guys. But there's Which a lot is. of people you can bet on. Like you said, Obi Toppin has the most potential, but he's not at what, number six? I, that guy's list. <laughs> on most people's list. Nah. One, two, and three are James Wiseman, LaMelo Ball, and Anthony Edwards everywhere. I wouldn't be surprised yeah. if Minnesota gets Obi Toppin. That's what I'm saying. They can draft Obi Toppin, prove, they should. Their, prove everyone wrong. Yeah. And should. then now he's a nicer trade piece than the number three pick. I have a question. The number two pick. He has, he has a question. What team? Do you guys see any team trading up? Uh, no, I see a lot, well, I see a lot of teams trading down, which means some teams would be trading up. <laughs> Who's going to want Lamella? The Knicks. <laughs> yeah. The Knicks. The Knicks. Or... That would suck. That would not work out. Damn. Let's go Knicks. Can you can you imagine uh, the New York Lights would? Can you kill imagine that his boy? father just sitting in the stands with Spike Lee? Can you imagine? No, yeah, I, don't <laughs> I don't want to see that. That'd be so Levar funny. And Spike. Yeah, Levar and Spike. And they're, and they're both looking at each other like that. I don't know why I'm. I, he kind of disappeared. I see the Nuggets doing something. The Nuggets? 
like trading down or trading up. Something. Something's going to happen in the draft that they're involved, I feel like. Next up, we got Buddy Hield for- forcing his way to Philly. I can see that. Really? Happening. There was that report that uh, Buddy like that. wasn't picking up um, what's-his-face's calls anymore. The coach? Yeah. Yeah. The Luke coach. Walton. Yeah, they didn't, they, were, they didn't get along. They were butting heads. He, I mean, Buddy is he, like he supposedly him. 26 or 27 if he starts telling the truth. Because there's that whole thing about he lied about his age. He did? Yeah, in the draft, he enlisted himself as like, or like they enlisted him as like 21. So he just didn't say anything, but he was actually 22. But he's no. just like, well, no one asked. Oh, wow. Uh, never. It was something like that. <laughs> well, no one asked. Super stupid. Something super stupid like that. Well, I never heard that. Yeah, so he actually was a year older than everybody thought he was. Oh, wow. I can't believe you guys didn't know that. Oh, so y'all, my joke just went over y'all head, huh? <laughs> what was your joke, Vec? Yeah, 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 he yeah. starts telling the truth about his age. Wow. Oh, is the podcast boring to you? No. Throwing <laughs> uh, <laughs> shots. I mean, Heald has wow. nothing. He's not a superstar. Can he force a trade? He's potentially be awesome. I mean, he, yeah, he, he's really good. Yeah, he's really good. It's just Luke Ward. He's good. He's Luke Ward was holding him down. <laughs> he's good. He's I mean, good. I don't think he's really good. <laughs> Who's really good? Dwayne Wade. No, he is <laughs> amazing. He's expectation. He is God. <laughs> of course, yeah. I don't. If they start letting players like Buddy Heald force traces, force trades, they're gonna make rules. Like what? What type of rule? Like if you don't play, like we can cut you. If you agree that you're not gonna play, we can just cut you. That's they're kind of doing that. I mean, I, I really doubt he's. Gonna or we be can like, fine you. Like there has to be. They like if the players. I mean, look what? at Whiteside. White Whiteside is now no LeBron, and he forced a trade. He didn't force a trade. I mean, uh, he's just garbage. Eric no, Blesso. Eric Blesso forced a trade through a oh, tweet. Yeah. That's true. But that's because he they didn't need him. They, they, he didn't fit their timeline. Nothing. There's no reason for him to be. He's like, all right, you don't want to be here. We can find value out of you. And they can find the value out of Buddy Hill, but I'm pretty sure they'd rather keep him. They signed him to yeah, the extension. Yeah, because they want to keep him for a six man. Because he was balling, and then Luke benched him. Yeah, but they, they gave him, him the extension. Oh, yeah, yeah, but he did. wants to be a yeah, starter. Was, yeah, he wants to be a starter. Like that, that's, that's his issue. Well, yeah, that's Luke Walton. That's not the Kings. And they gave him the extension. They believe in him. And if he's going to force a trade after they just gave him the extension. So they're firing Luke. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Thank you. You, just, you took I'm the words right out of my mouth. No, Luke's fired. Is he? Luke's already fired? Isn't he? I don't know. I don't know, think hey, so. Hey Siri, who's the head coach for the Sacramento Kings? Well, that person stepped down. Uh, that Vladdy? Yeah, Vladdy Lebeck. You know Shaq is a part owner of the Kings too? Yeah. Nah, I had no clue. You know really? Oh, you, nah, I didn't know. Yeah, Shaq was Shaq's a part owner. I just know Shaq owns like 5,000 subways or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I know that. And Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, there. I know that. Yo, your series sucks. <laughs> no, I gave you the roster. Do you think it'll happen? I don't think it'll happen. No, I think no. I, think I can see. I, I think, can see him going to a different team though. Me too. Yeah, because he doesn't I, want to play for. Somebody. I think he'll stay for the season. No. I see him no, going he's definitely to. Gonna get traded. No, especially Ooh, Houston. I, I believe him going to Philly with Doctor. I don't know. I see it. Hmm. That'll be another shooter that. Uh, That'll be interesting. Just call him Doctor. No. Well, but they're not going to be using Dantoni's uh, office. Philly, I can so see I him know. going to Philly. Another could, shooter, uh, Ben Simmons. Can I'm sure that's too. that's exactly what Philly needs, wants. I don't know what they give up. I guess Josh. I'm sure, Doc is going to get. Doc is going to get to work. Luke, oh, Luke like, is still All the right, yeah, time to get coach. shooters in here. JJ, come back. All right. Next, we got Miami's a top destination for Strand. It's oh, yeah. <laughs> we already talked about the Warriors. Yeah, this guy in the Warriors, guys. <laughs> Miami Heat head coach Eric Spolstra will often point out that their program isn't for everyone. It includes a militaristic commitment to conditioning. You pulled. Um, the Heat tout for hashtag culture is a top selling point. Uh, blah blah blah. For an office executives around the league, believe the Heat that will become the next top destination for a star. Uh, Miami, of course, uh, is home to the biggest free agency hall in history with LeBron James, Chris Bosh, and Dwayne Wade. He says he's not buying it; he's selling. Do players want to go to Miami? Absolutely. The beach and nightclubs alone are tremendous draws, and that's going to be brilliant for. And that's that. And that's before getting. Brilliant basketball minds in the organization, but do the Heat sit above all the rest of the top tier free agents? I can't buy it. Uh, different stars want to do different things. There are players who want to go my who will man, there are players who value Miami or above the rest. Others will show different market, different stars. LeBron James, Anthony Davis, KD, Kyrie Irving, Kawhi, Paul George. Uh, they or even the financial flexibility to sign a super friend. So they're saying since we don't have two max slots. He's not buying it for now. 
Do you think we got one? I'm starting to, a lot of people say we are. I think we're going to say this I think season. it's not as solid as people think. It's pretty weird. I think it's weird. I think we're going to start hoping a lot and get no one. I don't know why. Uh, maybe I'm because I'm a pessimist. Yeah, don't say that. Yeah, what the fuck? Don't bring that energy over here. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's just like it feels everything's so set up. Like he said, like, I don't know. Will Bam and Jimmy do it? Heat so culture. It's, it, for, fuck, forget about Bam and Jimmy. <sighs> I think it's the, the fans yeah, are more in love culture. with Heat culture than the players are. The fans are more... Heat no, culture. It's definitely... Do you uh, think anyone goes like... Oh, I can have the job where I get paid thirty million dollars and play with one of my good friends. I can have the other job where I get paid the same thirty million dollars, but I have to eat the right stuff, go to conditioning every Thursday, stay after work to go lift more weights, and hope. But that's Jimmy's dream. Do you think people go to San yeah, Antonio that's to, to live in San Antonio? Guy. No, someone going to go to San Antonio to go with another person in San Antonio. I mean, if you want to eat bad and not train and all that, then just go to like to the Hornets or go to the Phoenix I'm and get your contract. No, I'm just saying there's other teams that can offer the same thing and not be as difficult and they have two max slots. Yeah, mm-hmm. but if you want to win and you're a player that wants to win. Yeah, like that's the whole thing. Like I'm saying, I don't know if Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo convince people that they can win. I think Pat can. Yeah. I mean, Pat's been trying to convince people for a while, but let's not get it twisted. We did LeBron. have LeBron James. <laughs> and before that, it was D-Wade. He still also convinced Chris Bosh. And I mean, Dragic to an extent. And We traded for Dragic. And Jimmy. Hey, all I've known since we've... Pat Riley has entered the Heat organization, it's been nothing but good. Of course. Yeah, we've never been, been horrible. Been good, but I mean... A couple of seasons, yeah, I've been horrible. I think I mean, other like teams... Early, early. I think other teams really. I don't think Pat was the owner. Thing. Might be more attractive. The what? I think other teams might be more attractive because of their star power. I mean, Lakers can get any. They don't have two slots. Clippers don't have two slots. Well, they will. Yeah, if they trade PG. Like we saw, will. we saw in the last, in just the last three seasons, the Lakers had two max slots, the Nets had two max slots, the Clippers had two max slots, and that's how they got all these players. Yeah, but those are already ticking. I'm saying, but that, that's what attracted those stars there, that they can go with their pal. They can meet someone else up there. That's the most attractive part to them. And you know Giannis and Bam have the same um, pool? Yeah. I don't know. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, agent. Agent. Yeah. Giannis and Bam? I yeah, mean, they're friends. Cool. Everyone he, in the Lakers is on Clutch Sports. No, he's it's, saying, he's saying off the base of that, and they probably have sure, a but Giannis secret. isn't going. Hmm, we have the same agents. I guess no, I like I don't think that's a big no, deal. I think he's saying uh, you're like uh, go with a friend. They're friends. Yeah, go sense. with a really like good Bam could friend. be in his Bam could be in his ear. Like, hey, you should, you know. Yeah, you guys that's are all he's... missing my point here. Well, okay, wanting to go with next? your friend. I mean, I don't know. Cause Not he... their friend, but they're really good friends. Do you think PG and Kawhi texted every day? No, but he said, right, I want you. Westbrook and Harden. Westbrook and Harden was a trade. I'm saying they got together. That was a trade. I'm talking about free agency. Um, that that really happens. Agency. Obviously, we can always get a trade through. The players don't have any choice in that. That really happens. KD and, and Kyrie, and that's it. KD, Kyrie, PG, Ka- uh, and Kawhi. They're not best friends like that at all. That's um, what I'm trying to say. You go to the team where you can find another star to go with you. We only have one max lot. So Jimmy and Bam, are they good enough to be the same value as another star? Yes, with Jimmy and Bam, I would yeah. think we have enough great value to yeah. get Giannis. <laughs> For sure, yeah. For sure, 100%. I don't know where you're going with this. I don't think you guys are budging. Like, I don't think you guys are even considering my I don't question. Know what are you saying? Like, <laughs> go with, uh, he's saying there's better star power in other teams than the Miami Heat. Okay, Luka Dantich. I'm not that saying so much that. I'm just saying that I don't think Miami is as attractive as we're making it out to be. Hmm. I think Miami a thirty four yeah, year old Bam out of sorry thirty four year old Jimmy Butler and Bam out of Bayou who's special but it's just potential as of right now it's just okay. potential. Bam Jimmy uh-huh. so he culture Miami be Miami Pat I'm, Riley I'm our saying, organization I think, I think he culture is more of a fan thing than a but it's not player thing everybody not talks anymore. about it yeah not everybody talks about it I mean everybody talks about every culture. No. Like now, nah, you you saw well, other players come out and start about like saying this. about like heat culture. I think like y'all are being Fox. What culture shit. do we talk I think about? Y'all like being this. really biased. We talk about it all the time because we live in Miami. We all we want to talk about is Miami culture. But they just made the finals. Everyone was talking about yeah. it. I know, but that's the thing that people say. Like, oh, cool heat culture. Yeah, but yeah, I think I that know. it's not as valuable as y'all are making it out to be. 
He's saying that because we live here. If it was, I understand, but I'm live. sure people at other places are talking about heat culture. Everybody's talking about heat culture. We're like a fifth seed that weren't supposed to be there and beat the M- two-time yeah. MVP. I understand. Four that. one. I understand that we we overachieved, but I mean, how much value is that really? That just shows how good of organization and coaching yeah. staff we have. Of course, that's but very very attractive. Are you gonna bet on coaching staff or are you gonna bet on another star? But we have. St- <laughs> Bam is not even at his prime. Bam is you act like Bam was a top ten player. Exactly. Like, what do you mean exactly? exactly? He hasn't even reached his peak, and we got to the finals. Do you think Bam will be a top ten player? He has. So? He has top, he has, top, yeah. top he has three a, centers. Yeah. Okay, so you're not he high on Bam. Top, yeah, that's something. He has one potential. center in the top ten. Top to me. Top three big men in the league. Top two big men in the league. Okay, top other, two. No, I'm not picking maybe up the, uh, a little bit more down the line, but not next year. But you no, know, I I believe peak. you. But is that that is that that great? Joel Embiid didn't get a win. Nikola Jokic didn't show out as much as Jamal you're Murray right, did. But we're gonna get Giannis. So you're oh you're saying God. I think you guys are being really biased right now. I have no words, man. I have no words. All right, no Victor words. Oladipo wants out of the Indiana Pacers. I can see that happen. He took that back after the rumors came out. Do you uh, think he just was so people lying? Wouldn't hate him. Lying. Yeah, he's lying. liar, liar, pencil fire. Oh but he's Cap. so low value right now. I think the Pacers keep him. Keep him? Yeah, because his, his value is not as high as it used to be. Oh, I, I don't think know, he's out. Man. He's out. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unless he asks for it, I think he's staying. I think he's gonna oh, stick what? to singing. <laughs> you think he's gonna stink this season? <laughs> stick to singing. Oh, uh, stick to singing? Oh, that's <laughs> funny. That's funny. I think he said he's gonna stink he, this. He can really sing. Yeah, yeah he can sing. Though. Vocals. I think the Pacers keep him unless he asks out because uh, I don't think they get as much value as they want to out of him right now. Honestly, he was hurt throughout this whole season and right. he was just getting his rhythm back. So you'll we'll see next season if he could, you know what I mean? Yeah, and a lot of his touches were going to TJ, to TJ Malcolm. Warren since he was filling it. Yeah, and Malcolm. And to Rock come him. back from season ending injury to the bubble, it's got to throw you out of whack, you know? Yeah. And, he, yeah. and he's always been the player to take energy. Yeah. I've that been, too. Like, he didn't even... Like, he did play a couple games. In the bubble, yeah? No, nah, not in the bubble, but before the pandemic hit, yeah, like, he did like play a couple, couple games. Yeah. Like, mm. I think like six or something like that. I think out of those like six games, he had like one good game. Yeah, he had like a game winner. Yeah. I remember that. In but way, yeah. other, other than that, I just feel like if he finds his rhythm, he could, he could be normal again, but we'll see. I don't know. A lot yeah, of people that, are talking about him going weird. to the Heat or something. I don't like that. All the depot going to the Heat. I don't like that either. You guys remember when those rumors of DeRozan going to the Heat? Fuck that. I, don't know, I feel like that's gonna start coming back. Up. Honestly, I thought I you guys DeRozan. were gonna get Bradley Bill. I don't want DeRozan. Oh, that would be so nice. That would be nice. You have no pieces. I thought you guys were gonna get Bradley Bill. I'm talking about last summer. I thought. Oh yeah. Oh, when yeah, that was close. Yeah. And, Did you guys yeah. see how Chris Paul said that anywhere he th- goes, he thinks that they can They're win a championship. championship. Well, that's his mentality. That's a good one. That's a yeah, good, good mentality. One. I mean, he took the took he had OKC in the sixth seed. Yeah. In the fifth seed, actually. Media is so weird. It's like, what is he supposed to say? Like, well, do you have the question that he was asked? Oh, wait, you which said, one? No. I the use context? like any team no. that he goes wins a championship. What was his question to that? I don't know. It's like, I don't know, media's weird. Because whatever he answered, if it wasn't that. I mean, like, you media me, you get what I'm saying? everything. Yeah, it was a little yeah the media, up. they switched up everything. Because someone else is going to be like, it was a what is he talking about? He's never won. It was a loaded question. That would be yeah. interesting, though, right there. If, CP3 if to the, the Bucks, Bucks they roll? drop Eric Bledsoe or trade him away and get CP3, CP3 and crazy. Giannis, that would be nice. That would be nice. That would be nice. Yeah, so it says yeah, his last rumor is that Bucks aren't actually interested in a CP3. Wow. Um, Lob City Part 2? They aren't. They're not. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. I guess maybe the Bucks think it's not as worth it as people are making it out to be. Maybe they just don't have the assets. I feel like I saw a lot better trade packages for CP3 out there. Or Giannis told him I'm leaving next year. Or CP3 back to New Orleans. Yeah. Oh, that'd be nice too. That Pelicans? would be Lob City Part 2 for real. But wait, you got Lonzo. No, they have Lonzo and Drew. Yeah. I think that's the same value. Drew is leaving, though, I, I believe. It's not the same value, but I think you don't get a third point I think guard. Drew is gone. Drew Holiday leaving? They'd have to trade him, but they, they love Drew. They le- Victor Oladipo is leaving, and, and Drew's replacing him. No. Nah. 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 Why? What does I that do? That. But what does that do for the league? Nothing. The league. It's just like a trade. Why does it have to 
be a monumental thing. But the thing is, <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, what does that do for both teams? They're just fine. The Pelicans get worse, and the the Pacers got better. The Pacers get older. Oh. They got skill wise, they got better. I would say the, that's a no for both sides. How? I would like that as a patient friend. If Oladipo people doesn't want to be there, doesn't want to play hard, get somebody. Else but I would think with yeah. older Drew Holiday when we're not trying to win now. Yeah, but I would think the Pacers are trying but to win. But his value, but all right, what you just said earlier. Like, no, they're not trying to win now. Like if, okay, but. And Turner if might be out. Too. Vic wants to get traded. I don't think they're going to pull off a, a player like Drew Holiday Drew? to the yeah, team. Yeah, I feel I like. Think, yeah, no. I don't think that's going to happen. Unless be, they uh, give up either Miles Turner, which he wants to be out as well, or like Malcolm like, Brogdon, or like another of the holidays. I like Miles going to Dallas too. That'd be nice. To Dallas, Miles, Miles, Turner, Turner, Turner. to Dallas Mavericks. Nah. For who though? Yeah, they already got a couple. They already got bigs. They have Dwight Powell. They have Porzingis. I'm well. sure those some of those players are player options or they're free agents this year, and they you have to pick people up. If Miles Turner goes to the Mavs, Miles that means Turner. Porzingis has to leave too. That why? means he has to get traded. Miles Turner has why? a long term contract. Is he really? Yeah. And why is there rumors of him wanting to leave and all this? He wants to get traded? Two, is that Because they have two. They have Sabonis and Miles Turner. And I'll like definitely keep Sabonis. Big enough. Yeah, of Sabonis. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, Sabonis is the yeah. better player. But I'm saying if he was to go to Dallas, that means Porzingis is out. Why? Because it's, it's like yeah, they can't. play the same position. Yeah, they play. The they same do position. the exact same things. Yeah, it's, it's like our defense. But all right, what? All right, all right, remember, all right. you have two bigs that can oh. run the floor and right, remember, pick and pop. Remember and we roll? discussed that a, the thing. Why remember we discussed the, the Pelicans and Lakers trade and how like AD and and Brandon Ingram. Yeah. Yeah. Remember it was like all right. Oh, with Kyle Kuzma. Yeah. It's I see like Kyle that. Kuzma right there. I'm not. Like no, sorry. I see Bi right there. Why are you trying to give me Kyle Kuzma? Yeah, it's like that. Yeah, it's like yeah. I see, I see Sabonis right there. Why are you trying to give me Monster? Yeah, it's like yeah, basically. Ooh, basically, yeah. <laughs> nah, I just I'm thought sure. about Sabonis in the Mavs. That would be nice. That would be nice, but I'd be like, yeah, do I? Poor had with, to leave too. Uh, the All Euro team with Boban, and then Dragic goes there. <laughs> How do you guys feel about uh, Griffin? Who I like Blake, Griffin. Blake I love Griffin. You think he's staying there, or I've always loved him. Yeah, he's staying there, yeah. He's saying that he he made it. He who, got another home. Who get no? But who? No, but I'm saying that Troy might want to just trade him because if that's your best player, an injured Blake. Or what do you think? You're an injured Blake. Blake was. Oh yeah, Blake was injured for the yeah, whole like season. Like the past two years, like he's been no. Nah, he, he made, he made all star. He made two years ago. He was fired. Yeah, yeah bro, but then he got had injured to find at the his end shot. of last season. Did he like, make? Like, the, I'm wait. saying he keeps getting injured. Like the past. He made the all star team recently. Yeah, two years ago. That's what he was like a dark horse MVP. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, nah, he did his thing. He, in, I think he's still balling. valuable. The real person that needs to be saved on that team is Derrick Rose, though. To be honest, oh man, he needs to get saved off that team. <laughs> he's coming Ouch. to the Lakers. Man, the Pistons are Ouch. so dead end right now. I feel so bad for hey, him. Hey, but you look, remember? I don't know if you guys remember that trade that the Lakers declined, and it was to get D Rose for a first rounder and Caruso, and the Lakers said no. Me and my yeah. older brother was talking about this too. At least for the Lakers, Caruso is too bad. But I love <laughs> now you, my man. me and my older brother. Was, <laughs> me and my older brother was talking about this. Derrick Rose went to the Lakers. That, that was an actual perfect. trade, but they, the Lakers I know it was. Yeah. That would have been perfect. LeBron gets two former MVPs. Oh, was, Wait, was Dwight Howard MVP? No, yeah, no, no, no he was defensive. Oh, uh, two former first top. Players. Players. I was so happy yeah. for Dwight. Yeah. picks. Yeah, yeah, I was. I was really happy for Dwight. He, but like, Derrick really Rose happy. already played with LeBron, man. Oh, I, yeah, and yeah, I heard yeah. rumors. Nah, they had Derrick Rose on that team. That'd be four first overall picks. Why? How? Dwight, Dwight, Dwight Davis, Bron, Anthony. Oh, D Rose. I forgot about Davis. So we're calling him Anthony without the Davis. Yeah, AD. Hi, Anthony. It's Ant. It's Ant. And Davis, 23. No, nah, but Derrick Rose, he's very injury prone. Like, he's always getting hurt. Well, I'm glad, the, I'm glad these topics brought us out. We actually had a longer pod. We're at a minute 30. One second, guys. Um, I know this is very. Shout out, quick shout out to his girlfriend. <laughs> oh, my God. Very irrelevant. <laughs> Who is LeBron's greatest teammate? Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade. Like, Most skilled teammate, Davis. I think his best Dwayne team, Wade. I think it's best yeah, teammate bro. ever is Anthony Davis. Nah, you tripping. His Wade. best teammate ever is Dwayne Wade. Yeah, because in the I all-time like rankings, how I'm not they putting play Davis with each other it, yet. It, we, we would, we're he fans. We, we love lob, like their lobs to each other. Obviously, like... He won two Wade. rings with... But and Davis both in their fits primes, so much better. Okay, but... Yo, he won two I'm, I'm gonna with, go by what, what I've seen. He's they won, won, to the f- won with Davis already. Okay, and what if he? What if yeah, he, only he gets won one. one. He won two with. Uh, they yeah. lost with, the first year. 
but so he, not a heat then like the last then, then, the, then, then, then the next two years he won it the way I'm looking at it it's just wait to me wait it's just they've been longer like see look Alfred to me it's just that Davis Davis plays more off ball in That's my it. opinion, if Dwayne Wade was healthier when he played with LeBron, obviously it would be Dwayne Wade and LeBron. Like, they would be the best teammates. But LeBron, the best teammates. When, Le- when LeBron got with D-Wade, D-Wade was starting to get his, like, knee He was injuries. declining? Yeah, he was getting his knee injuries. Like, he was he was still Wade, but it wasn't, like, flash. You feel me? I know you said. I don't know. To me, I, feel you, I like... think Davis just plays off ball, and LeBron benefits from that. Hey, man, forget everybody's answers, man. It's Dwayne Wade, right? Yeah, me too. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> the way out, because, like, all right, who was okay, Tim but Duncan's I don't think there's a wrong best answer. teammate? Who's Tim Duncan's best teammate? Manager think, Dobley. Uh, oh, God. Manager if you Dobley. tell me... Tony Parker. You guys didn't even say David Robinson. I, this, I thought about I David thought Robinson. I thought about David Robinson, but, but David I David Robinson. Robinson. They didn't play that long together. That's the same argument, though. You you're putting Davis. Uh, no, you, you're no, putting because you're no. putting Davis there off, off of one year. Like like if he wins like two more years, gets no, to like, is, one no, that's, no, no, is, no, no. The is. argument like is, is better. His, Davis is reaching his prime. He's no, not. He said who's his greatest teammate, not who fits better. He said who's his greatest teammate. I mean, that's your argument. That's not right. I think his argument is just LeBron gets the ball more. That's it. It's like what? Magic. It's like Magic and Kareem. But they played for. Like long amount of years. That's what I'm saying. They're they're that they're more dominant. Yeah, dominant. I'm, like my argument, I'm not putting instead Davis of magic yet and, off of one instead of year. Magic and Isaiah Thomas, it's Magic and Kareem. He's saying reason. who's more, who fits better. better like who's yeah, Kobe LeBron made. and AD, because one gets to play off ball and one plays on ball. Whoa, and that's where they're at their best. Lebr- LeBron is at his best with the ball. So is D Wade. I well, for me, I think it's D Wade and LeBron. Yeah. Fit, like, because I'm just, perfectly. yeah, because what well, we've seen yeah, now, Davis, seen. like, and Davis went, can shoot better than D Wade, probably. Yeah, yeah he he's way more skilled. Oh, exactly. Know, That's my answer, and I'm sticking to it. So, guys. LeBron could drive all day and kick it out to AD. Hey guys, well You're that's my, well, that's my that answer. With. I'm sticking to Dwayne Wade and LeBron James and have more y'all probably team, have different teammate opinions, chemistry. Is just, just keep talking at the same time. Yeah, my bad. Sorry. Yeah, that's why I stopped. Yeah, go, go, Le- go. LeBron and D Wade have better teammate ke- chemistry, but I think Davis and and LeBron are going to be more dominant. It's such a like, dumb. What? <laughs> Either you agree with it or you don't. What are you I don't know, saying? I, I don't know how to, what to say. You I said Davis. I said Davis is the better fit. But how's Clearly he the better? Not. How's he the better fit if he doesn't have team chemistry? And he does have team chemistry, just not as good as LeBron okay, Wade. How does he? That's what I'm saying. How does he better if they don't have better chemistry? They ha- and if they don't have better chemistry, and if they because Rajon Rondo and just because and they won, Alex Caruso have could have better chemistry than these good ass players, but they doesn't mean they produce a lot. This is such a stupid argument. Are no, you kidding? No, because you're you're telling me just because they have worse teammate chemistry means they're gonna automatically means they're worse. I have an idea. I have a, we should have a segment where when someone Your gets, argument's so when, when someone says something really <laughs> stupid, you bench them. <laughs> and they go on mute for a whole minute. Yo, look at his face, yo. <laughs> yo Max was so confused when he was talking. He just saw his face. I just benched Camilla. <laughs> yeah, but my only no yeah. my only thing was yeah, like Davis is for sure like they're the they fit better and he's more skilled, but I, I'm, I still have to consider what D Wade and LeBron did, did to what AD and LeBron but that's haven't. Not, but that's not what we're saying. It's not. It's not. We're not measuring rings here. We're just saying who's the better. Who's better? Who's better? Uh, comp, who's the uh, better teammate? Yeah. Who's right, who has the better chemistry? Like if, chemistry. If, the if we start question, saying, which is why your argument's stupid. Okay. Okay. If 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 the argument was, uh, the best duos ever, is, is it fair to put Braun and AD there already? Over the Wade and, and I saw LeBron. this tweet today. Like that, that, that was kind of what what my view. Talking is about that, I saw this tweet today, and it that's was, why I it say was no. Davis and LeBron, and it had a little thing like picking them for KD and Curry, and I, I I don't know, they can't do that because everybody was talking shit. How uh, I saw that, yeah. Curry, uh, I, I didn't want to get. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. Uh, but you get what I'm saying now. When I think of duels, I think of like Sean Kemp, Gary Payton. I think LeBron definitely brings more out yeah. of. Be uh, 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 no, what? Sorry, Otto no. Davis. He brings LeBron, LeBron. He br- uh, you're LeBron. saying LeBron <laughs> brings more out, out of AD, AD. yeah, because he's a big. and AD brings way more out of LeBron, LeBron. than than D Wade did, okay. and that argument's also flawed because we're gonna look at what they did together. I want to disagree. That best duos of all time. I we're think, gonna look I, at what they did I together. I think D Wade got more out of Braun. Yeah, because no. how you said that he he knows how to handle the ball. You remember when? LeBron would be a cutter 
That, that's how that offense was insane. Or even... LeBron, AD, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like that backdoor AD, kind of LeBron had that like... The one thing AD doesn't have is amazing elite playmaking, but he's no slouch either. Nah. Uh, yeah. You know about Dwayne Wade is one of the best perimeter defenders that we've ever seen. As a guard, yes. 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 Yeah. Are you crazy? Yes, Max. Max. Are you nuts? Is he, Max. Are you going to get a word out? Are you going to let me get a word out? <laughs> he, I agree with you. Oh, okay. Stop looking at me crazy. Oh, I thought Are you were going to tell me that... D Wade has, and and Anthony Davis are that ba- that drastically apart in defensive potential on the court. You're gonna tell me D Wade's out of this astronomical world defensive more potential than Anthony oh. Davis, the probable defensive player of the year the, that we all think should have won, but Giannis won it instead. Crazy. Okay, okay then. Then why is that even an <laughs> argument here? That's not an argument. I'm just here. saying though. But I don't know, man. It's like it was, yeah, but wait, was good on defense. Yes, yeah, so was AD. Uh, I know, I know. But there were games. Okay, even in the finals, there were games that LeBron. I love when he goes. Okay, okay, watch this. <laughs> there were games at the. <laughs> there were games at the fin in the. In, in the finals, yeah, not, that LeBron had horrible games and D Ray picked it up. So, okay, AD can do that too. AD hit a game winner against yeah, the Nuggets. Did. Yeah, he did. That's a different what. No, no, well, LeBron ha- wasn't having a bad game. No, he wasn't. I guess. Like those series when against the Mavs when LeBron was. was I think LeBron is too horrible. slow anymore. To we be had the question. Of, Wade, like, wait, do you guys we, put we, AD we had over the question of who's better, who has the final MVP right now? We, that was the question for two games. Yeah. I don't think it ever was with Dwayne Wade. Because Dwayne Wade was like declining that's what i'm saying that's why i would put davis over him. honestly i think if the heat would have won if they, if they had the flash and the Heat would have won that first year that first year it would have been d way yeah that's i was just about to say i that. know that's your argument but they lost was, that year yeah they lost so we will never know who would won exactly yeah because yeah. him and chalmers were the only ones that showed up that finals yeah they did but yeah but when i think of duels i think of like sean kemp penny and shaq kobe and shaq Penny, like, you're gonna think of LeBron and D Wade from now on. I'm no, sorry. You're gonna think of LeBron and AD from now on. Over now, nah, you see, I'm always gonna no. think LeBron and Wade. Yeah, so like, like Keep, LeBron. Yo, I've been hitting your foot for if, like the know. past. Well, that's because it's, it's, that's cause it's his best friend too. Damn. Yeah, their best. I friends. think that's another reason where the chemistry were so like that. But yeah. that's why I, would, I say it doesn't matter. About no, chemistry banana boats like, and crap. No, that, that, that whole argument is based on their chemistry. But Davis being the better player, that's why I feel like they're better together. If Wade was. The, I already uh, stepping on my toes. You think AD is better than D Wade? AD, AD, AD. You think? <laughs> yo, he just. <laughs> he's like, I heard AD. You I threw a whole AD. wrench in the <laughs> argument, yo. <Yeah. laughs> yeah. yeah, you think? You, Mellow. You think D Wade? <laughs> you think D Wade is worse than AD? When they play with LeBron, yes. That wasn't the question. No, not all time. Okay. Dwayne Wade has the all time. I see sweat dripping down his no, face. I d- I'm not sweating. Dwayne I'm Wade is definitely a better all time <laughs> player than right Anthony Davis. Without getting but killed. when D- Dwayne Wade played with LeBron James, I feel like Davis is that like. Is that true? Better. Okay. Wait, 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 repeat that. All right, all right, all right. I know That's I, my I, argument. I, That's wait, wait, repeat I mean, that 2010 year, he was still really good. Yes, and then 2011, he got like injured, and then he. Had all right, to but get this surgery. is Davis's first year, so you have to you have to compare it to D Wade's first year with LeBron, right? Fair. Yeah. Can we look at stats? Is that, is that no, 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 no stats. Just have memory. Davis, fit top five player in the league right now, right? Yeah. He's fifth. Yeah. Maybe Wade, fourth. Wade, too. Exactly. So that's yeah. Wade. yeah. Wade was. Yeah. Wade was. So. All right, and then the following year after that, Wade, there, he knocked out the top All five. right, but we're not there yet. <laughs> but he he get is going not in up. next year. Yet. He could get injured next year. He could get, get injured that. next my, year. My argument was like, we I haven't hope we seen. Don't get injured of course, yeah. What you're talking about, we haven't seen it yet. So I have to put Wade over over Davis as a teammate, like I said, LeBron's teammate, because we haven't seen it yet from Davis. Even though I'm sure. What like, if um, what if the thing Davis... I hate the most about the AD versus D Wade uh, argument is that D Wade already said that it's AD. So yeah. when did he say that? Yeah, he he said, uh, someone the finals. Someone said it and he retweeted it. Wow. So that wow. sounds like a confirmation. Nah, to he, me. Yeah, he like quote. Well, I guess. It. All right. So since it came out of his <laughs> mouth, I guess AD is a better teammate than LeBron. Bam. Oh, well, there you go. We got LeBron. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. What is it? It came out of the horse. It came out of the horse's mouth, guys. Exactly. So I guess AD is a better teammate than LeBron. Bam, I agree. All right. So then D Wade. Then D. Then D Wade. You, know, you, you clearly have something else. You to have say, the floor, yeah. Say it. I have nothing. To All right, yo, you see? Are ready so we literally, we you're, literally you're ran. Bench. We, Why yeah. am I saying AD is a better team than LeBron? Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys.
<laughs> so much make sure to drop a like subscribe oh, follow good. us at the bench underscore cast on instagram and twitter um again thank you for the crazy <laughs> support and i think we're gonna go ahead and peace out thank you for coming jason thank you for coming martin, martin. uh camilo yeah you you were cool and all <laughs> uh, appreciate you guys watching peace be safe wash your hands